The party journeyed to the second lighthouse, having aided Stephen in his quest for his misplaced toothbrush. In an unexpected turn, Cap became the owner of a mysterious magical house, revealing more than meets the eye. Whispers of impending horror loom ominously on the horizon. What challenges lie ahead? Why has the situation taken such a peculiar turn? Uncover the answers in this episode of Pass the Dice. We are past the dice, and hey, got, you know, congratulations, we're at episode 10. Hey, cheers. cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers. Alcohol. Adult beverage. Adult beverage. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, um, you know, thank you all, of course, for coming. Um, and thank you all for watching. And thank you all for watching. Yes. Don't forget um, to slap that like button. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Don't forget to Head ring button. that bell. For <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to fix oh. that. Subscribe. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the blooper reel for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we cut that out? <laughs> Don't forget to respect the like button. Every time I talk, it's just going to be like me cutting out. <laughs> yeah. Um, last time on uh, Pass the Dice, we ended up Finding the toothbrush that Steve was looking for. Um, and Caro and Beethoven ended up uh, having a little bit more of an intimate moment. Oh. The. Yeah. Once found out, one, uh, you guys ended up finding out that the home that you were investigating was owned by an ancient mage that was called Illithid. And it turns out that. Steve is a lithid. He is Steve. He has dementia of some sort. Um, but with, oh, sorry, with Cat, Opal, and Ham's help, you guys ended up uh, releasing a seal in the home and made it your own. So whenever you get the chance, if you wanted to, this home is now yours. Uh, so if Cat were to use. Um, their hut spell, uh, the home would re-emerge. The home itself is customizable. You'll have your own room. You'll be nice. able to put what you want in your room um, and just kind of make it yours. It's so cool. It is actually really cool. Um, after uh, solving that mystery and you, the party ended up getting up early in the morning and heading over to the following White House, uh, the second lighthouse once arrived. Um, you all had noticed that the predominantly of the patrons that were there were that of uh, deep dwarves, or as Ham would say, dark dwarves. Dwager. 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 That I couldn't say last time. Uh, <laughs> for the life. What did you say? I was like derber der. I just <laughs> it was like gibberish. It was, yeah, I just, it's it's just those it letters derber. mixed. Yeah, okay. it's just yeah, <laughs> just all scrambled up. It's all scrambled up. So, all of our uh, deep dwarves out there, my apologies. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was predominantly uh, that of that, and the the interior is significantly different than the previous lighthouse. Um, on the middle of the lighthouse was a kind of like a bonfire that the smoke and heat kind of radiated all the way up through the lighthouse. And there's uh, like trophies all the way up the lighthouse of different creatures that were killed and slain by the uh, hunter's guild that is nearby. Um, the patrons themselves, there's adventures throughout. Um, there's you know, goblins are kind of running around helping out the staff. Um, it's a very lively place. It's not as kickback as the first lighthouse. It does seem to be more of a tavern. Yes. Is it bigger? Than it's the about the same, but how it's organized is, is kind of more like, instead of like table dining, mm -hmm. it's more like bar stools hanging out, like all surrounding a hearth. It's not run by torrent. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So the so class very, level is very... It's called it. Uh, rustic. <laughs> yes, it's nice rustic. Rustic. Um, Very homely. Oh, yeah. Homey, not homely. <laughs> homey. homey. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, uh, Ham, you had inquired uh, with the Hunter's Guild on their location, 
and where some of the adventurers adventurers were getting kills and uh, creating uh, trophies. Let's go for I'm sorry. Oh, I'm all right. Thank you. No, you're fine. Sorry. Sorry. I was good. Um, Damn it, Opal. Opal <laughs> was uh, inquiring uh, a more of a magical touch, uh, where the you know there's kind of, for lack of a better term, ruffians. There's dwarves running around, and Opal did pick out an individual that definitely radiated uh, a magical aura. Tickle my fancy. And uh, after conversating a little bit, um, Ham ended up jumping kind of in and was very excited about some of the information that he had found. Um, And that's actually where we left off. Um, Ham and Opal, the two of you are together. In the, uh, I'm sure, Opal, you wrote this down. The gentleman's name was? Cordrick. Cordrick. And Ham, I'm sure you wrote this down. The bar tavern. Trevor. Trevor. That's right. Trevor. Yes. <laughs> and it was Cor- Cordrick. Cordrick. Let me write shit down. C O R D R I C K. So Cordrick had gotten up. Um, We'd also talked a little bit about because um, he's from Port Delta. Yeah, he's from Port Delta, and you actually had a favor for him to ask to be able to. Um, see if he's able to look out for what your sisters. Yeah. And he took some of the magic with him, uh, very similar to how Torrent did, um, to kind of look out for those individuals. But right now you are together, Ham and Opal. Did he leave? leave? He did. He, he left to, his excuse was to use the restroom. But he didn't leave, leave. As far as you know. Um, oh yeah, I think I had just finished telling you that I was in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I, I told you about the Hunter's Guild, and I think that's where it ended. Um, oh, uh, you also said something about like the armor they were wearing. Seems like it had come from this area. Yeah, it's the, the it's the guards' the armor people that attacked from us in... misunderstanding. What? <laughs> it was the guardsmen of Silent Bell, not the people that attacked us. Oh, okay. Not the but it's, oh, it's gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the insect black armor. Gotcha, okay. Um, Who the hell was that? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, at the moment, uh, he is someone of my interest. Uh, he's, he's, from Port, he's from Port Delta. Um, and when I sent... When I sent a raven to one of my uh, um, underground contacts, uh, they had they had sent word that one of my sisters um, was seen in Port Delta. Um, it didn't specify which one, um, but based on the description that I gave of of all of my still missing sisters, um, I guess one of them um, had turned up some information, and I was asking him if he could keep an eye out for um, uh, a young woman uh, that radiated my kind of magic. You don't know who that guy is, though. I, I mean, at this point, it, it's the only lead that I have. I mean, uh, Yeah, but there's also people hunting you and your sisters. I don't know. I, I didn't really sense anything off about him. Me just looking in the direction that he <laughs> walked <laughs> off. And you can kind of see him uh, make his way around to the corner and going into one of the restrooms. And at that moment in time, you see uh, Cairo emerge from the restroom, uh, kind of shaking his hand a little bit and walking over takes us a glance at, at the two of you and continues over to the table where Bjorn and Kairos are at. Look, I understand that lapse of judgment, I I gave away information that could potentially come back to bite us in the ass, but I, I need to find my sisters before they do. I, I can't lose another one. 
Well, thinking we should try to find out more about this person. What if you went to that bathroom, kept him busy, and I take one of the the sneakier of our friends and check his room out? Um, are you are you prostatizing me? <laughs> if you make money off of it, yeah. <laughs> I just said talk to him. You don't have to, like, keep him busy. Listen, I I may be a virgin, but I'm not oh. going to pretend that, I, I, that I, I don't know what happens if a woman goes into a men's washroom. You have to go in there. <laughs> just wait outside. And then just keep him from going to his room. Invite him to your room. Uh, I mean, okay. okay. <laughs> There's a couch over here, too, but... Um... We can all we can also get chairs. Yep. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and like. So I know, I know the new little one likes to steal stuff. So. Well, I did make her promise. I think they would be down. I did make her promise not to take anything from us. So. Who's not with you? Um, I don't actually know where she is. I I lost I lost track of her quite a while ago. I'm gonna get some cheese from the bar. Oh, she'll come back. They'll come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well. Okay, well, um. Good to have go fun. Team. <laughs> team. <laughs> yeah. Good team. Good team. Good team. Good team. Okay, we'll put a pin in that. Uh, Kairos, what are you doing at this moment? You're in this new um, bar, I guess, this, this new tower that seems kind of familiar from what you're seeing. You do notice all these different trophy heads just kind of everywhere surrounding the building going up and up and up and up and up. Okay. Um, right now I'm going to say that you're currently just kind of inquiring about some of the trophy heads. Okay, so I'm like around them. Yeah, you're kind of them. around just kind of staring at like this giant like insect looking mantis face kind mm-hmm. of scarily imposing its presence down on the, the crowd below it, but I'll say that's where you're at right now. Okay. Do I do I recognize that statue? Is there any significance to it that I know? Uh, go ahead and do a history check. Yeah. Guess I should pull up my stats. Tim de Blonde. That'd be nice if we got some monsters. Fifteen. Right I'm talking about like neat yo. Stuff. Just give me, just give me all the books. <laughs> That's all I want. I got a fifteen. You got a fifteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, with that roll, uh, you kind of remember actually a, a terrifying memory. Actually, uh, you remember as you have wandered off, like off the path of where the lighthouse normally would shine in the underdark, just trying and you know, doing your typical treasure hunting. Um, you end up seeing one of these creatures kind of sleeping and compared to your very small size this thing is massive um easily by your measure of count about 15 tall ears tall (laughs) that's pretty tall very tall (laughs) for kairos uh, but you remember them being just kind of daunting, but mm-hmm. creatures that would attack on sight. Um, oh. So you barely made it out just sneaking past this creature as you headed down towards the first lighthouse when you originally met this group. Okay. Um, can I just look around and see if there's any easy victims of my little hands? Your little paws? My little paws. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and roll perception. She's just so cute. Baby. Just a little baby. <laughs> hey, like, you perception. <laughs> how how tall is? Tw- uh, dirty twenty. About a foot. About two and a half feet. Two and a half feet. She's Very shorter than short. him. Very yeah. Yeah. Short. Yeah. Yeah. Are you upset about that? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> he can someone, feel tall. There's some. There's finally someone in the group shorter than him. Yes. <laughs> As long as it's not it dirty cobalt. A dirty 20. <laughs> a dirty 20. Uh, so you do yeah. see, um, actually, <laughs> one of the adventurers that were in the corner, there's a group that Ham talked to originally. Uh, there's two um, 
dark dwarves, a drow, as well as a um, dragonborn. Okay. And the dragonborn's looking real rough. Pretty twisty. Sh- Oh, <laughs> um, at this point, has Ham gone up to the bar to get cheese yet? Um, I'll say with that roll, you do see Ham inquiring about something, but it's a distance away. Do I smell cheese? <laughs> <laughs> roll for nose cheese. Uh, I'll say with sniff. that perception. Roll, roll for sniff. Um, roll I'll, for I'll, sniff. I'll say that you you do have a hint of cheese, <laughs> and with your memory of where Torrent kept it, you might know where it comes from. Can I just, like, sneakily make my way over there and, like, appear behind him? <laughs> <laughs> you can. Uh, go ahead and do a stealth roll. You gave up um, potential coin cheese. for a cheese board. <laughs> That's how she wants to get paid, okay? It's, it's in what, cheese. What, uh, stealth? Stealth, yeah. Uh, dirty 20... Three. Well, at least we at least we know how to make you do things. <laughs> yeah, Jesus 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 Lord. Lord. Uh, so it's not hard to convince. Ham, you end up coming up to the the bar table, and um, you see uh, Trevor. Hey, welcome back. What uh, type of snacks you got back there? Well, we have uh, an assortment. Um, predominantly, we have a lot of drink, but uh, there's plenty of Food, meat. Looking for, for like a cheese and meat platter. A security bar. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We have. Let me, let, let me get the fanciest one. What the fanciest one. What do we got? Well, we have some things. I mean, how? What kind of taste are you feeling? Are you wanting something more bore? Are you looking for something that's more meaty, like a uh, bear? I'd say boar with like a smoky cheese. Oh, we got some Gouda. There yeah. you go. <laughs> some Gouda. Gouda. I guess you some. Absolutely. And um, you can see that his eyes, once again, start glowing that kind of purple glow. Hmm. Um, and from behind him, um, it's almost like a, a chef's knife. You kind of see you start kind of just prepping something. So, I'm not going to lie. I don't really see very many hill orbs around here. What are you doing? You're far away from working. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a few, I guess, up in the, the mountains, but you're from there. No, no, no. Just, just heard there are people up there and <coughs> exploring, you know? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. There's a... Be careful, though. Um, there's a rowdy bunch, I guess, happening. Um, some sort of religious group doing something up there. They, they pass through here? No, they have an encampment up there. Uh, they only just recently became active. How long ago did they they set up camp, you think? Well, they've been there for at least ten years, but... I'd say that they've become very active within the last four weeks. Mm-hmm. You know about how, much, how many there were popping up over there? There's a great many. Uh, a little worrisome. It almost seems like they're a force in our military, almost. Hmm. All right. And at this time, he ends up. You can kind of see the security board, and you can already smell like the 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 smell of like boar, the smell of like like this kind of deep fatty meat coming across the way, and just a hint of smokiness that the. Uh, cheese is getting off, and it's floating up and lands in front of you. Uh, that'll be 30 silver, top of the line. How much in yellow coin is that? One. <laughs> One? I'll Gold give you piece. two. <laughs> two? Good. I appreciate it. Solid tip. Well, Alright, well thank you. Happen? Uh, at this point in time, you do see this happen. Uh, Ham ends up grabbing a hold of this security board, and as he turns away, he turns around. He doesn't see you just because <laughs> you're you're so small. Um, oh, no. And he ends up taking a step forward and kind of, Ham, you feel something like just kind of bump underneath you. <laughs> you look underneath and you see uh, Cairo staring up at you with these big green eyes. Um, just 
almost like the, the biggest puppy dog look that you could ever think of. Cheese. You like shiny things, yes? And cheese? I will give you half of this now and half later if you do something for me. What? We need to break into a room. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna ask something weird. We get to steal stuff? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm gonna put a pin in that. Uh, Bjorn. You're currently at the <laughs> at the table. Um, you're sitting next to Cat, Aiden, uh, and Caro uh, comes down and sits down, is rubbing his hand a little bit, and he says, "You know what? I'm going to retire for the evening. Um, I'll see you all in the morning." Cairo's, uh, Cairo, Caro, Caro. <laughs> oh, can I, uh, before he gets up, can I do a perception on his hand? See if there's any damages, or ah, uh, you wouldn't have really known that. I mean, I guess he is rubbing his hand, yeah. so you can perceive. Yeah, go ahead. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a. F- I think I only. It's, there's no modifiers. Yeah, I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you do notice that he's rubbing it, but there's no damage or anything of that nature to it. Mm. Um, and Beethoven excuses himself as well. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, his hand. To the hurts. moment. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Someone in our group is getting some. Um, so the two of them end up going upstairs. So Beethoven is now just out in the open. He's out in the open. Although he, what you're normally accustomed to him seeing, like very uh, red skin, very like the devil. Um, yeah. He does actually have more of a teethling, teethling look about him. Yeah. Um, and something that wasn't really discussed, but he, he's able to shapeshift. So just to not cause too much of a stir, with still smelling like that of the Nine Hells, yeah. um, he is taking the appearance of more of a tiefling than his usual attire. Uh, the two of them head upstairs, um, paying the barkeep and getting oh. comfortable. Yes. <laughs> um, I look over with, at Opal Link. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say, for the sake of story and player basis, both Cat and um, Europa, or Europa end up retiring also for the night. Okay. Uh, so you're there with Aiden at this point in time, and you do see off to the left, um, Opal kind of just nervously checking themselves, like kind of just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> First date nervous. Uh, what, I, what I know about First date kind of nervous. <laughs> would I know anything about that? No, I mean, you just see them, that they're trying to, like, like just talking to a guy? Have I noticed that? Or I'm going to say no at that point. Okay. I'm just standing in front of the men's bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like... Um, you see Ham <laughs> off to the right-hand side. He's holding a security board, like, above Cairo, so she's kind of, like, wanting to reach up. <laughs> and uh, Aiden's just kind of next to you. We have a trail that I, I honestly have no money. I'm a broke ass hoe. So I need to. I'm gonna see if I can ask the barkeep if there's anything I can, like, do. Oh, sweet. Are you okay? Did you eat today? No, I have, you like, have no lunch? money. I'm, I'm worried how well our group is gonna do if people find out that you're poor. Oh. <laughs> I had a lot of money and now I don't so, I'm gonna have to this is all in the group chat this is all in the group chat <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need to borrow something? no I'm okay thank you <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna give Aiden like a pat on the shoulder and I'm just gonna go up to um, the bar okay absolutely um, so right next to you you do see Ham just kind of Moving the board left and right as Kairos is just kind of reaching out and saying, like, gimme, gimme. Um, the uh, barkeep. What can I get for you? Hey, um. Sorry, I have to talk in my accent. Or try to. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, fuck. It's okay. Here we go. 
All right. <laughs> I'm Australian. <laughs> um, I was wondering, I don't really have a lot of money, but you got any work for me or any notice boards up? Well, not particularly around here, but the Hunter's Guild down the way it does. I'm sure they have plenty of work. Oh, really? Hi. How Hi. far away is it? A couple hours east. It's on your way if you were headed towards the uh, Dragon Mountains. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about these Draga? Well, the the mountains uh, is just home of the where most of the deep dwarves are. Mm-hmm. A lot of a mining town, so to speak. But uh, you know, good folk, hardworking. I've heard rumors about the Dwegar. They worship. Eldritch beings, is that true? Eldritch beings? Um, I mean, I, I mean, custom to the older ways, I'd say. They're more concerned about the mortal life in front of them than uh, a spiritual one that can't do much, but there's some priests still there. Right, okay. All right, well, thank you. Right. I appreciate it. Pin in that. Um, Opal. You're nervously sitting, standing next to the men's <laughs> restroom. Um, oh boy. Just kind of patiently waiting. Uh, the door eventually does open up, and you see um, the young elf gentleman that has uh, slightly like a greenish tongue skin, a little off color, uh, brown hair, and those. Uh, emerald eyes staring directly at you. <laughs> My god. <sighs> oh, uh. I would. <coughs> I expect to see you right in front of the door. Uh. Um, oh my gosh, I'm, I am so sorry. Um, I thought this was the ladies' room. Um, my mistake. Um, but since I'm here, uh, I thought maybe we could talk a little more. Hi. I like that. Um, are you staying here in the lighthouse? Yeah, I'm uh, actually the very last room up top. Very last room up top. I'm <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, have you been here long? I've been here for the last three days, I'd say. Um, Forgive me if this was already stated. I don't really remember the last session. But, <laughs> um, what brought you out here to begin with? Oh, um, well, actually, I'm curious about what's happening in the Dragon Mountains. There's um, a particular element I'd like to investigate. An element? An element. Something that I've never seen before in the School of Magic. The School of Magic? Huh. Um, I wasn't aware that there was a school of magic in the mountains. No, not. Uh, sorry, I should be correct myself. There's, as you, I'm sure, are aware, a lot of fire, a lot of ice, a lot of oh, water, yes. etc. Yes. Uh, a different kind of element that is being found in radiating off a particular mineral in the mountains. Can I, like, focus? Um, my own magic to kind of like see if I can pick up on that. I mean, because it's not really something that I would be thinking of with everything that's been happening. Mm. Um, so I might have been ignoring any feelings that I might have been getting. Yeah, go ahead and do an account check. That's a critical failure. Critical failure. Um, you can't really pick up on anything, um, but it might simply be just because uh, it's being mined in the mountains quite a distance away from where you are, so currently where you're at, chances are you just wouldn't really pick up something that far away. Okay. Um, Damn. Oh, I must be really out of practice. Um, I, I wasn't aware that there was an emergence of a new element. Same. I, um, I'm very curious, and uh, that's predominantly why I've been here. I've been sent here. I came across seas, made home in Port Delta, and uh, made my way 
that way. Um, Scent, uh, if you don't mind my asking, by who? Oh, the uh, School of Magic. There's a magical school in the Kingdom of Noah that um, basically we have like a sub school also in the capital here in Illidan but the main academic um, portion of it is going to be over in Noah. I've come here from there. You're from Noah? Yeah. Um, I, it's, a, it's a region I've had a lot of in the past couple of weeks. Um, tell me a little bit about it. It's a place stuck in uh, tradition. Um, the, the kin there, well, the folk there, uh, the Nord Fox is predominantly a the predominant race there. But, I mean, very similar to Illidan, there's creatures, um, there's still like Orcs, there's um, trolls. They, they, it's very almost akin to, but it's almost like. Um, have you ever heard of the term Oni? Oni. Oni. A uh, type of. What well, most believed as a type of demon. But. Just because of their aesthetic, they look very similar to that which you would find in the Nine Hells. Demons. Yeah. Um, I've heard the term. Uh, never really had the displeasure of meeting them. They're kind. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it's more of. Sometimes you find out a spider isn't poisonous, but you're still afraid of it. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I I've never really been out of the Feywoods until rather recently over the last couple of years. Feywoods? Beautiful place. I, I miss it. Um, but I, I can't really return um, as I mentioned before. Yeah. Um, I think you'd be very infatuated with a there's a force that is very akin, I would say, to the Feywoods in North. Maybe sometime I can take you there. I'm mad blushing right now. <laughs> um, I would like that. Um, you could show me, though. What? How about, um, would you like to retire to a more quiet place? Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> like, where? Like a room? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, outside. Yeah, um, do I notice, like, Ham and Kairos, like, beginning to make their way? We're actually going to put a pin in that right now. Okay. Well, you had I, gotten the... Before oh, that, can yeah. I say... Since he had offered outside, can I say outside? Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, pin in that. You had gotten the group chat, <laughs> so to speak, from what? Uh, Popo. Um, yes. I'm not a part of the group chat anymore, right? You, you still are. You still are. Are you yeah. sure? Because your, your brain is in the body. The body is, is just the vessel. And even then, when Opal dived into your memories, it made that connection. Okay, cool. Sorry. So you also heard that it's in the group chat. Is that okay? Gotcha. Um, but the three of you are actually right at the bar at this moment. So basically, you just heard something that you have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not in the group chat, so. Yeah, Carlos is. I'm just watching. All right, come, come. <laughs> Come, come, come. I'm just gonna <laughs> can Drop feed her cheese, cheese as I'm going. <laughs> feed her like so. <laughs> so you're making your way up, uh, Bjorn. You heard this. You're seeing this. Yeah. Um, what are you choosing to do? I'm. I don't know what they're doing, but 
they're just doing something. I don't want to be nosy, so say, I'll, I'll stay down. Uh, you're stay not down. concerned for my little fox safety? <laughs> I figured you'd be okay. Some dwarf leads a small fox up to the room with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Does it draw questions? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jordan's not a very inquisitive person. <laughs> I mean, just like, well, they're doing something. He's very Canadian with his aspects in the sense, I don't want to ruin your good timing. Hey, <laughs> hey you, need a, you need a cup of water? Or? <laughs> um, so you make your way up. Um, I need you both to roll a perception. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Uh, you're making your way up the stairs. Uh, for the most part, you are seeing like different trophies kind of going up. But uh, Kairos, you're very distracted by the Jeez. ooh piece of candy, ooh <laughs> piece of candy, ooh piece of candy moment. Um, and Ham, admittedly, you're just trying to kind of keep Kairos following you. Uh, you make your way all the way up to the top where there is a a room. Um, that is locked and closed. The room itself is kind of like a, just a really, looks like a really heavy oak door that is uh, kind of a, just, I'm sorry, barred, almost like a, um, just iron kind of going across it. It definitely seems to be a, a nicer room than some of the doors that you had seen on the way up. All right, this is the room we need to get into. I have given you cheese. Um, I, I pull out, I have a th- uh, thieves kit in my inventory, so I just pull out the stuff to pick the lock. Okay. Like... Are you just gonna pick it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do a side hand check. Um, okay, can I roll that again? It was like, not a little. Oh, it's worse, great. Uh, <laughs> it's okay because my slide of hand is really good. 13. Wait, no. 15. Math. 15. 15. Okay. So you've been trying to jimmy the lock. Um, as you put your thieves' tools inside um, and kind of begin working your way, um, you do unlock it. Can I like, kind of like, crack it open to peer inside to see if I see anyone or anything worth noting? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, and thankfully you don't have to do anything for that, so okay. you just kind of open it just slightly. Um, taking a look in, the room does appear to be dark, uninhabited. Um. Since I have dark vision, can I see into it, or is it just... Uh, for the most part, it seems like a, just a typical room. You can barely see the bed itself, um, but the room itself is larger than what you would expect, just based on your previous experience at the other lighthouse. Okay, well, I open the door for him, like enough for him to come through, and we enter the room. Okay. I mean, if you want to. Yeah. Yes. I'm assuming that's... Why yes. there? All right. Anything shiny, take it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception. Roll. So if I get a natural 20, but my modifier is minus one, is it still a natural 20? still a natural 20. Okay, then. Nat- it is a natural 20. A nat 20. You have x-ray vision. Uh, dirty 22. Dirty 22. Okay, so between the two of you, when you walk in... Um, you do notice, because of the natural 20, I would say, even the 22 might not have made it happen, but due to the natural 20, you do see a silver wire going across the actual door itself. Fuck. Very thin, very almost not noticeable, but... Is it, like, super, like, is it high? Is, is there any way to avoid it, or is it, like... From what you can see, it is very much uh, several strands kind of going across. Um, you might be able to, between the two of you being so small, well, for sure one being so small, um, you might be able to go across it without triggering it. Can I 
attempt to do that. Yeah. Go ahead and do an acrobatics check. I swear to God. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck me on this. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, so, kind of begin shimming, like, you find a little hole that you might be able to get in. Um, Ham, you're taking a look at this. You see that Kairos is, like, almost putting their ears in a bun to become as pointed as possible. <laughs> and you see uh, her kind of shimmy across, just barely, like, making it through, and without triggering anything, you're inside. Uh, I'd say with that 22, um, and of course your night vision, you do see uh, several books kind of up in a bookcase. Um, there seems to be, it's very minimalistic. There isn't much there. Um, a journal onto the table. Um, but the room kind of hints this, especially with a little bit of your magical background. Uh, you do feel that this room is enchanted in some way. It's larger than what you would expect. It seems mm-hmm. like where it would normally be a motel room style size, uh, almost like a studio, uh, this almost has a one bedroom apartment kind of feel. Oh. Um, it's quite a bit larger than what you would expect in this area. Um, as you're in examining and touching some of the things, trying to look for whatever you can find, uh, everything kind of has like a kind of a, a magical vibration to it. Uh, as if Go ahead and roll a history check for me. I'm curious if it... Thirteen. Thirteen. You're not entirely sure. You kind of just feel like there's this magicalness about it. Um, but that's really all that you're getting the vibe of. Uh, you're not entirely sure what that might mean. Mm-hmm. But there is... The, the room kind of feels off due to that. Okay. I go to the door, kind of like looking out at him. There's books, there's journals, things that might be useful. I don't know what you're looking for, but there's magic in this room, and I don't know enough to know what it is. We're going to do a grab and run. Oh, no. <laughs> also, ask me. Yeah, but you're... Can you, <laughs> are you... Wait, can you determine magic wait. through, like, our senses? Well, there's there's another piece of information that I have that might help Kairos with, or Kairos with future history checks. Because um, I know that he's from Nor, but, Ka- but Kairos doesn't know that. Oh, uh, but I, I don't have, I don't have the... Telepathy? That, yeah. and I don't even know if I know about it. Do I know you that that's... You don't know about yeah, it. Yeah, so, like, that's, I can't do anything about that. So they wouldn't know to even ask. Uh-huh. But Ham could. Ham could. Because I Ham is smart. told you so what room he was in. Oh, I was just saying, I know Aiden's expertise in traps, locks, mm-hmm. everything. He also knows a lot of magic stuff, too. We, we, we so underutilize Aiden. I swear Damn it. <laughs> I was surprised that you didn't have him come with you. That's not my thing. I'm No, you were doing yeah, it. I'm, dist- I'm distracting the you wiener. Were... <laughs> I, re- I forgot about the characters. Because well, Aiden, I mean, my Kairos is very capable of these things, yeah. too. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, very capable. I just don't have or know about the telepathy, so I can't communicate with Opal. At all, I don't know that that's something that can happen. But you're busy. <laughs> a, a, uh, taking that all to the side, uh, Kairos is just kind of asking you, you know, what are we, what are we looking for? Definitely take that journal, and then whatever you would like. Should I try to open the books? Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we I'd say let's take the books. Don't open them yet. Okay. We'll open them when we're out of here. Um, can I? Is there anything other than like books and stuff of value that I would? Any shinies? Any um, shinies? <laughs> from what you can tell, just based on some of the places that you have broken into, especially with Beltelida, um, 
this individual seems to be a very minimalistic person that probably keeps things on their person. Well, in the uh, spirit of grab and go, <laughs> can I just try to grab like as much as I can quickly and then get out of the room, like even though I will set the trap? You could throw. That's true. But it will probably it, it will still probably trigger the fire because oh, yeah. I had to like. Well, if you throw them through the holes. Okay. I guess we could try that. I just don't know if it's gonna set off anything when I take stuff. Because it's magic and I just, I'm not aware of what it is, so I don't know. The I'd say we just run. To where? We'll run. There's other Wait, characters. you said cat retired already? Cat retired. Did they make the house outside the tavern? Um. Or the hut? They actually didn't. They retired into a normal inn room. They haven't popped that up. For reasons unknown to you, but I mean, you you just know that they went up to a room. So we need to go somewhere. Mm. You guys have your own rooms. You can. Nope. You can find. Do not rent a room yet. Anywhere that's. In that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Um. I'm just kind of curious, Bjorn. What are you up to? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here. Uh, can I ask the barkeep if I can cut wood to get money? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I need dineros. Right. <laughs> you want an honest paid job? I got that. Uh, I just need a temporary night. I, I could use a dishwasher. Fuck it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a pin in that story. <laughs> Washing dishes. Uh, all right, put a pin in that. Uh, Opal, uh, you're now outside um, with the gem. Um, <laughs> no, we're not even gotten that part yet. He walks on over towards <laughs> where the um, kind of where the the stables are, uh, where Nyla, um, Skull, uh, Hattie, um, and basically all you guys' pets have been stored. And he walks on over to uh, one of the stalls, and there's this like beautiful um, black maned horse um, that he goes up next to and sits in the stall with the horse. Um, and he's, sometimes I find um, the distraction and noise in there a little too much. This is quiet. This is uh, Shadow Man. And the horse kind of intelligently just narrows its head down and just almost bows in front of you. I'm gonna give a little, a little curtsy. <laughs> you know. Um, give me one second. I have to go get the go puppy thing. Okay. Pen in that. Be on. Yeah. You're in front of the dishes. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I don't what do you do with dishes in the sink? So you've been cleaning. You you go around back to where the kitchen is. You begin cleaning. Um, I can uh, grab glasses. You too. see one of the uh, the the waitress that you had originally gotten your ale from, which technically you weren't there for that. But nope. <laughs> um, she ends up looking at you up up and down. No money. Yeah, we get that every now and then. You're part of that um, hill dwarf group, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Right, yeah. You tell me a little bit about him. He's piqued my interest. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, um, I don't really know a lot about him, but um, he seems like a good guy. Water in a bar. Isn't mm. that strange? Is that a Hildorf thing? No, it's not. But we did have a intense battle right before. So he'd probably need to sober up. Oh. We're with a band of other dwarves. Of, yeah, it's a rowdy bunch. Right. Arm wrestling people left and right. As they should. Maybe that's how I'll get money too. 
<laughs> that's how. That's how Andrew. I forgot that's how Andrew money. made like a shit ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna continue playing. All right. Pin what else can I do? Uh, <laughs> back over to the table. She said nightmare. Right? Uh, shadow man. Shadow man. Um, she's she's beautiful. Um, I would I would introduce you to to um, to my pet, but I, I think it would make uh, she would make Shadow Man very uncomfortable. Uh, uh, it's possible she can be touchy from time to time. Well, mine's a dire wolf, so oh, yeah, that <laughs> would surely uh, make her feel very uncomfortable. I imagine. Um, I could I could introduce her to my my familiar. Oh, you have a familiar. I do. Um, I ahead. just like wave my hand. <laughs> when that happens, um, just this little poof of smoke pops up, and this tiny little cat with um, lavender esque eyes staring up at him. Oh, this kid! This is Nymeria. Hello, oh, Nymeria. Kind of kneels down and gives pets, and Nymeria just. <laughs> Chains on. <laughs> um, all right, well, yeah, let me show you. Uh, he kind of sits down and puts his, brings his hands up and beckons you to sit with him. Um, and he puts his hands out to have them rest on yours. Um, I'm about to have the best mental night of my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and the two of you... Um, touch heads, very similarly to what we had done previously to Cat. And when this happens, you get a flash of just these beautiful um, white uh, barked trees with just almost like a an aspen tree in the middle of fall. Uh, just scoured everywhere throughout this, this forest. And you hear in your head um, and actually you you begin seeing yourself, it's almost like an out-of-body experience, and you're viewing down below you just acres and acres and acres of these these beautiful trees. Um, this is the uh, Hokai Forest in Nor. This is the place that I was wanting to show you. Is it like reflected, um, like Illidan, so it's like it's dark or? Oh, it's very bright. Uh, there is actually sunlight. It's, um, it's beautiful, and I'm kind of like, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> so I'm not very used to. <laughs> yeah. Not very accustomed to this. You must be. Have you been here your whole life? I, I've never stepped foot out of Illidan. Uh, I mean, there was, there was, one journey. Um, my associate and my and I went to Avalon. Um, it was a. A sec- uh, security contract of some sort um, with one of my other traveling companions, um, but that was the only time I've ever experienced uh, sunlight. Huh? Well, it's very warm. It fills my heart, and there's a, um, a very cold feeling in that in the uh, I'd love to show you this. And you can kind of just feel, somehow, um, even though it's an out-of-body experience, you do feel like a hand uh, grasp a hold of yours as you're looking down like this. Uh, um, I kind of just like fall in a little closer. (laughs) I am also like amazed the fact that like it's you know the scenery is, is very beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of like I, I stay there for like a couple seconds and then I kind of move away and like um, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, this is uh, this is all very very new to me. <laughs> Have you not uh, shared a mind space before? I have, um, just not in a way that feels the way this does. Well, tell me what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. I should not be listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, it John. feels um, <laughs> it feels warm, um, but like hot. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's, it's almost like I can hear my can my my heartbeat um, in my ears. Yeah. <laughs> Stimulating. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a word for it. Oh. I'm gonna put a pin in that. You sure it was Hand getting real good, Stephanie? <laughs> Better break it up. I can see why Aiden is a uh, is a uh, is a kinky book writer. <laughs> you need to tell him about this so he can write it in his book. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Mind fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's the next book. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, <laughs> Kairos and Ham. Uh, Kairos, you have a couple books in your hand. Um, you're kind of just looking at Ham, confused on what you should do next. But you see Ham just kind of slightly snacking on some of the cheese as he's watching you. <laughs> we can just hide with the bar guests. It's pretty busy down with there. All of these books, I'm like a size of one of them. <laughs> Dang it. Throw this bag open. Kairos, you have grabbed a total of three books uh, oh, I can carry. and a journal. They're stacked. Yeah. <laughs> Kairos is very tiny. <laughs> kind of looking over at you. Throw them in my bag. We'll just go downstairs. Should I hand them to you? Or just go? I think just send it. You could be sneaky right. about this. You could full send it. You made it in once. If nothing happens when you pick up the books, try to sneak them through. If it feels right, weird, we're running. Yeah, they're oh, fuck up. it. Nothing's happened. So we're fine then. Sneaky, it? sneaky. Oh, sneaky? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just say you were, since you had crawled through before, you're easily able to push those through. But um, you're given everything to ham. You're now looking at this almost like spider web of silver thread. Um, okay. What are you doing? I'm gonna try to sneak back through, I guess. All right, an acrobatics check. Oh, shit. Okay. Family dice. Family dice. Fifteen. You don't, you don't have to be nervous anymore. They left. What? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, or they are leaving. What'd you get? What are you talking about? I have to uh, remember Oh, my... sorry. Well, it's mainly because of the fifteen. It's been a okay. while since I've um, with ease. Actually, you were able to kind of just slip through again. Your ears were still bound up, and uh, no prep work was needed. So just very easily, you slip right through. Uh, meeting Ham's gaze, um, Ham, you're now looking at Kairos. With uh, Kairos is looking up at you with these kind of like meaty eyes of and I'm handing the rest of the cheese Hi. over. Take care. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Jeez. Do I get, can I have the charcuterie board? Yep, you get the, the rest of the charcuterie board. Um, and you guys begin making your way down. Okay. Making your way downtown. Um, as you make your way down, you do see uh, Bjorn actually running around in kind of like just oh, my messy armor. clothes. Yeah, uh, he's armor. just like quickly grabbing plates from people. You see him like almost like being a busboy at the moment, which is kind of awkward based on his stature and all the dwarves that are kind of running around running the ruckus. Uh, he kind of towers over everyone that's in the building at the moment as he is bending over trying to pick up the tiny plates. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Making money. Money. I go back to doing my stuff. <laughs> Money? Yes. And, uh... We'll put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back over to Opal. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get back to Opal. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about that. This isn't important. <laughs> That's not important. Listen, I wash the dishes, but... What, me getting... You me dirty them. Me, me getting... <laughs> <laughs> Me getting mentally felt up is the best part of this game. What's up, girl? How you doing? 
Dungeons and Dragons After Dark. <laughs> Listen, I got my popcorn. <laughs> Just kidding. Jesus. Jesus. Um, so he's in very similarly to what when you were in like Cat's like uh, mind prison or mind castle. Um, very much like a, almost like an outline of each other. Your, your energy. Um, you do see kind of like a light green glow where his eyes should be, and you can see his physical body, but it, it's it's very much like just a energy. And same with yourself. Um, your your energy is just kind of ever flowing, kind of just radiating off of you, and you can see that his eyes meet yours, um, and you know it's been kind of. Since I've had anyone in my own head. Oh, oh. <laughs> your head, though. <laughs> um. he, he takes a step forward and just kind of grips a hold of your hand that, that has never left his. <laughs> can I have some cures? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can, you can have no, one. I'm, I'm okay, thank you. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't see why... Uh, your, your memories are very, very beautiful. Um, I should express um, that if this is going where I think it's going, um, I, I've, 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 never, I've never done this before. <laughs> never. There's not really a lot of time where I come from for practices <laughs> such as this. Um, Sounds like you're in the wrong company. Amber is the color of your energy. <laughs> um, well, also, to be fair, um, my my home was mostly female. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, just wasn't my particular cup of tea. Is this your particular cup of tea? <laughs> God. Is this really DD or is this like a sex thing? <laughs> um, I would say yes. I, I, I rather enjoy this this cup of tea. Sorry to hear straight face. No, it's funny. <laughs> just just like tea will soothe your throat. Oh, hey. you like Ricola? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to remind the audience that this is not a. Oh, this hey, is we not, this is not a child-friendly <laughs> program. Uh, we make we make sure that it shows that it's not for children. Oh, not yeah, yeah. Children. It's it's already if a child's looking for something. Demonetized. Instead of D and D Beyond, it's Bad Dragon that sponsors us. What's <laughs> that? You know. Oh, <laughs> Specify that. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> We've already got a story happening. <laughs> um, yeah, what I said. <laughs> what I said. My, my particular, I said what I said. Bitch, my I particular said cup of tea. Um, so at this point in time, um, you kind of just feel this, this warmth coming from it, where his hand technically would be. Um, and Is that why you brought he ends up bringing you uh, just a little closer and you feel like just your energies are just almost like a, a sense of magnetism that's going between the two of you. There's, there's just this, if you even wanted to pull away, you just really couldn't. You're just intertwined in this moment. Um, going with the team metaphor. Would you prefer me to be gentle for you first time? <laughs> yeah, would you? Um I, I I think I would I think I would like that. So are y'all like in the barn with the horse? No, we're in his we're in his mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's we're we're sitting in the barn, <laughs> like the but poor like poor horse. <laughs> sure this isn't the first time she's seen like this something like this happen. <laughs> um, Continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> So he ends up actually, as you're suspended in air, he kind of, your bodies kind of just almost are kind of floating in, in space at the moment, but 
his arm wraps around your waist, and you can just feel like when his lips touch, touch yours, a sense of electricity. Um, you're starting to feel like the elements kind of go through the, both of you. So you're feeling it, a spark of electricity. There's fire between your fingertips. There's a slight chill to his tongue um, as you are kind of wrapping it into this nirvana, if you will. Um, we're gonna... I have elevated to a higher plane. Yes. Watch out! Watch out, bad guys! I just got dicked down. I'm I'm coming now. <laughs> Literally. I need, Literally. To, I need you to do an Arcana check. Oh God, please, please, God, please. <laughs> I added you. I forgot to add you on the Don't don't fuck me on this roll, man. Or do. Or do. Or do. <laughs> you got any modifiers? Oh, that's a nat 20, my oh, guy! Yeah. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Actually, you did that very well. <laughs> um, so, as the heat of the moment begins, um, like I was saying, you're just feeling all these different elements kind of struck through you um, as you're kind of floating in the air, but as you're floating in the air, you're almost still connected with the earth. You're still connected with just everything all at once. Um, and as he kind of pulls your hair back and begins kind of uh, nibbling and biting at your throat, um, you feel this surge of just energy within you. And as he's kind of more in the control, in the moment, um, with that natural 20, where you were two separate energies, you become one energy. And this sense of euphoria, the sense of him all around you is just pulsating through your temples and through your chest, through your groin, through your body. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pin in that. Oh man! <laughs> Hurry up and do what y'all gotta do! <laughs> Doing them fucking. <laughs> I really want to read all these books. Where are we? Do we make it down yet? Yeah, you guys Bro, made this it is down. This the perfect uh, time for you guys to read through this shit. I am. I have. Well, I have succeeded in distracting well, like, him. We don't know that. <laughs> well, John had bothered to ask. Well, Aiden might know something about our concept. So. Oh yeah, we're asking. About what? Any of these books? Oh yeah. So the three of you, let's just say, uh, Bjorn, you end up finishing your shift at that point. Really? You, you ended up getting... You better give me a lot. There's not much. It's a very poor it. place. You get 15 silver. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. Enough for I'm going to go fall beers. down a flight of stairs. Wait, that's still enough for... Oh, um, something that we totally forgot. Um, Sean did explain in the last campaign that... Gold is is a recent introduction to Illidan's economy. So most places function on on silver and copper. Um, anyone who has even just one gold is considered very wealthy. Um, so even with just that fifteen silver pieces that you got, Bjorn, you can still get quite a lot for that. Correct, especially in the more rural areas. Yeah. Now, of course, like Siren's Bell or even the Monstrum, capital. the capital. Uh, trade is very present. Gold is there. But because we're technically in the boondocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things are a little discounted. I have yeah. a question for the DM. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed this. Is there a reason I have 24 to 38 HP? Did we do oh. anything in the last session? Did we take a long you rest? Might not, we did do a long rest okay. the last session. Yeah, technically, yeah. You guys so would have I, done a long Can I reset session. it? You can absolutely. Okay. Yes. Can I reset oh, it? Oh, that's not before yeah. I just realized. Also, that. you guys, you guys um, add four temporary hit four points. Four temporary hit points because of uh, the dwarven cooking. Oh, along with Aiden's help. How do I do that? Also, another question, okay. DM. Last yeah. session, temporary. I wrote down four. that it was yeah. 30 minutes away. And then yes. Is it 30 minutes or three hours? I'm going to say it's 30 minutes. That's okay. actually what it was. Yeah, it was very close by, not three hours. Oh, good, 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 good. I forgot. I, I was trying. I knew it was three something. I was like, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> and normally, like, I could easily go back to the last episode yeah. Yeah. and just look at that real quick. But because I now hand everything off over to Richard, and as it's being uh, edited, etc., 
Um, mm. I can't quickly reference that. And I haven't been writing things down, which I need to get back into. So shame on me. Shame. You know. Or shame. Um, ding, ding, ding. Okay. Shame. Should we go up to Aiden? Bring the books up to Aiden? I don't... I think he's down there with I, you guys. I know of Aiden, but I'm not as familiar with him. So. Yeah, you yes. really haven't had much of a conversation. Um, so the three of you walk up. I need you all to do a, a perception roll real quick. Wait, am I done with my thing? Yeah, you're done with oh. it. You ended up getting 15 silver. Seven. Seven. I got a 12. 16. Oh, okay. So, uh... Bjorn and Kairos, you do notice him um, writing in a book uh, when you walk on up. And the two of you actually notice the title. And the title says, um, The Devil's Tale. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. (laughs) And he quickly closes his book up and and looks at the, the three of you. Well, how is your little detour? You have the books now. And you can tell that uh, he probably was watching you the whole time. Just kind of curiously. <laughs> that's, how writes, that's how he writes all his stories. Yes. This motherfucker is always watching. <laughs> Warrior of the year. <laughs> so quick rundown. Opal's messing around with some wizard. We don't know anything about him. Oh, that's... We have these books. We're trying to figure out if he's good or a bad guy. They do feel weird. All right. Um... Well, let's take a look. And he he lays them all three out in front of him uh, and kind of is cautious about them. Um, let's see here. So it's two books and a journal, yeah? Three, three books, books and a journal, right? No, it's three books total, but... Oh, two, two books, books, one journal. Two okay. books, one journal. Um, he ends up kind of carefully taking a look through. Ah. He ends up taking a slip out, and once he pulls it out, it just kind of ignites. Trapped. That was the journal. And ends up going through the others. <laughs> Good God, fuck. And the others seem fun. Um, he pops open one of the books and kind of is just flipping through. Uh, hmm. Tales of Nor. And he hands it over to um, Kairos and looks at the other one. Um, uh, mineral book. This is interesting. Let me just take a look through. Um, it just looks like a book uh, on different minerals. Um, and you're into stone cutting. Yeah. He hands it over to you. Um, and this, and he holds up the journal that was uh, trapped. Hmm. And he begins flipping through. A different element. That's strange. Hmm. Closes it up. Maybe we should read this one in particular a little bit more of a private quarters. Uh, especially since it was trapped. Um, due to the group chat, um, this is the one that Opal is distracting right now. Yes. <laughs> that was a wizard. We don't know that. Just magic. Yeah, Opal, Opal told them about her sisters, so I just want to make sure this guy's not the guy hunting for meanest ill will. Ill will. I understand. Um, well, I think it might be a good to uh, investigate this uh, a little bit later. And he tosses it over to Bjorn. Wait, why do I have that, though? Evil book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's we each get it's one. A, it's a journal. It's just a journal. It was, it was I just a trap. I already have one. She has tales of war. Ham has mineral book. <laughs> yeah, mineral book. <laughs> just hold on to the journal. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to be tied to this. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. I just don't want to get my ass kicked. Opal's, Opal's <laughs> out there. 
Well, by yourself right now. I don't, think I don't think you'll be getting an ass kicking after the ass kicking I just gave him. So. I hope so. You should probably find a place to read that journal and see if this guy's actually who he says. Or I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, Alright, well. There's not much for me down here. I'm gonna go ahead and retire and um, continue reading and writing. Alright. He gets up and uh, kind of just nods to the three of you and. <laughs> smiles to himself, chuckling as if he's remembering something, and heads back up, or heads upstairs. <laughs> so the three of you are by yourselves. You all have a, a book. You know that currently Opal is distracting. Right. Uh, what are the three of you doing? No. I don't think we should be out here. I think we should... Maybe all retire into one room and kind of just read. Let's do it. Yeah. So you make your way over to the end desk and you see the uh, barmaid that has been passing things out. And she has her eyes kind of locked on him. Oh. And uh, looking at the lot. Um, here to retire for the night. Yes, please. Would be one yes. room or three rooms. One room. Yes, please. All right. Saving on money, as you can obviously tell oh. why I was helping. I can see that. We're not broke. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the broke one. <laughs> Damn, I just got to sell you out like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, one room would end up being about 30 silver for the night. Okay. I look to him. I've got 10... You all want to just put ten silver each? I only have five I'll silver. Just throw, after this. I'll just throw one gold coin. Okay. She grabs a hold of the coin. Ah. Pinch. Well, thank you. So, there's a little more to you than just your clean looks and clean water drinking. Nope. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It'd be uh, fourth floor, third from the left. All she right. hands you a key. Is there any way we can take a small break? Um, Andrew is leaving right yeah. now, so <sighs> we can I'm actually, trying uh, to. So. Close to. It's uh, close enough. Go ahead. Is that and take okay? A break. I- All right. Uh, so the three of you end up getting these books. Um, what are you doing right now? I think you- they were gonna. Attempt to get a room. We got. Room. Oh yeah, you're we getting going upstairs. Room. That's right. You went upstairs. Yeah. Uh, fourth floor, third on. Um, fourth floor on the third or whatever it was. Uh, you end up going into the room, and this room is much smaller. But there are three beds. There's two bunk beds, and then one off to the side. Um, there is a little area where you can actually write down, like like a little journal area, similar to what you had seen previously. Can I? Um, and then a window facing out. We're not ordering room the- service. What? <laughs> Room service for more cheese. Can I run to the bed that's not a bunk bed? You did, yeah, immediately. So you jump onto the bed, and you stand on top of it, and kind of look at the other two, like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. She is a female. What, do you want the top one or the bottom one? <laughs> top or bottom. <laughs> yeah. Or are you versed? Do you I'm not gonna, care? I'm going <laughs> to walk up to the bunk bed. Yeah. Take out three gold and just like jingle it and then throw it to the top one. Oh. God, Tyrus. Remain strong. How weak are you? Can I pull some cheese out of my pocket? <laughs> yeah. She's staring at you. Actually, no, can I, can I Can I? take my own gold out and throw more under my bed? <laughs> I'll just start reading the book. <laughs> I mean, Yorin, you can jump up top. Of <laughs> I just like grab it. I'm gonna take I'm ten like, more. <laughs> Put it up there. Can I open the book? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so, just the way I see it right now, we're sharing this bed. 
Oh. So stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you might be sharing a bed with someone else. Bitch. Yeah, I thought I that have, was... I have done nothing but love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... You know, you know what she meant. <laughs> oh, 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 Okay, got it, got it, got it. But, yeah, we'll, we'll just say it's because Opal's gonna sleep in that bed, too. That's why I get the big guy. All right, I'll take the top bunk. Right. <laughs> Gathers up all his gold pieces. <laughs> Scoops all his gold pieces back into the bank. Uh, all right, uh, so I need you... Uh, actually, an investigation check on all three of you. I don't know if I have good investigation. Oh, I thought you meant, like, the skill in general. <laughs> Life in general. Fuck! <laughs> Life in general. 17. 17... Hand, what'd you get? One. Oh, oh Jesus. That's well, nice. Good job. Nat, nat one plus one. So. Well, nat one. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 14 minus one, so 13. Okay. So, Ham, you open up the stone cutters, um, this kind of mineral guide that you see, and you're kind of flipping through it, and there's not enough pictures. You're just a little upset about that. There's a lot of literature. There's a lot of words. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. And you're kind of just a little <laughs> frustrated as you're looking through. It didn't really gather anything in your first flip through. Um, Kairos, you ended up getting a... 18. Or eight? 17. 17. One of those. Um, you're flipping through and kind of just... You're, this is technically information that you, you know, but it, it kind of begins making you feel a little, a little homesick. Uh, ever since you've been away from home, you've done nothing but adapt to survive. Um, even though your trickster nature kind of was <coughs> just that, that you know, you were born that way. Mm -hmm. However, you started stealing out of necessity. You started doing these things out of necessity and reading that book, um, taking a look at the different shrines, the different... Uh, architecture that was there um, definitely makes you just feel a little homesick. Mm -hmm. um, and Bjorn, what'd you get? I got a 13. 13. Total. When you pop open the journal, you end up reading a little bit about the element, that the new discovered element. And you see the documentation of, he, he writes, heading towards the Dwega Mountains. I've stumbled across the mentionings from my guild that there is a new element called Elithrium. I'm not entirely sure what properties this could have and the fact that it's even considered an element radiating from this ore. Magical properties could be limitless. There could be cures. There could be new magic, ancient magic, things that we could tap into. I'm both excited as well as scared of what what this could bring out. Um, there's word of absorption of other magic. It's what scholars are beginning to think of as, or talk of as, void magic. Not darkness, but the absence of and absorption. We're worried that some fanatical groups might be using it to relinquish magic as a whole. I'm on my way to the Dragon Mountains to meet with the, some of the chiefs, some of the um, higher dwarves that live there and inquire about what potential s enslavement of the dwarves that live there are dealing with. And that was the last chapter, um, the last journal entry. Okay. All right. So keynotes. New element. An element that is elithrium. Elithrium that is somehow drawing magic. Absorbing. So the magic. void, the absence of magic, and it being magic. 
Void magic. Void magic. And then um, the fanatical ins- groups. The fanatical groups enslaving the dwarves that live there to potentially mine it, or what happened? <laughs> and then um, the guys on the way to the Dragon Mountains. He, the, he's going to. He's going. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's this new element called Lithrium, from what the journal's saying. It has magic properties. They don't really know what this magic really is. It seems like it's a new discovery. Um, but as far as this journal says, it absorbs magic, uh, absorbs other magic. So it's considered like a void magic. There's a, a fanatical group that are enslaving dwarves using um, to see if they can mine it, is what the journal possibly alludes to. Um, and the, this guy is on the on their way to the Dragar Mountains. I assume he's probably going to go tomorrow or something. Who even is this guy? I don't know, but apparently this magic might have good properties and might have bad properties. I want to know why he has this. I hold up the book. What's your book say? It's about north. Your home place? <laughs> it's like a history book, or? Yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. why somebody would have this. A little was, way over here. Do you have the... Uh, what kind of minerals are in the wall? Do I know that? Um, I won't have you roll a history check. Um, nothing similar to what has been Discovered. labeled as, as what Bjorn has said. Dang, okay. Um, oh, but nothing of that, that nature. Just, I'm assuming you're asking because of whatever is in that thing. Right, the... We don't have that. No? Okay. Just curious, I wondered why he had that. Unless he came from there, maybe. To search for this ore. And then realize it's not there, and then... So where is this guy now? Uh, Opal is, uh... Keeping him... Keeping him busy. Oh, jeez. Are we gonna have to... Are you guys gonna have to throw these books back in the same place? Ah... Not gonna miss him. Maybe I'll. Maybe we should put the journal back at least. The room was trapped. So obviously, whoever this guy is didn't want people getting in. Exactly. Does that mean we can't take stuff out? I, I'm just gonna hand the book to you and be like, if you guys don't want to, then that is all right by me. I just How wanted to know? read this book. Now we at least know why he's here. Uh, I'll the book to him. Mine, poop. We'll be like, hey, we're all good now. Here. Uh, Are we taking the book back? Or not? <laughs> I think I hear some <laughs> interference on the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you the book. Are we? My book as well. Are we taking it back or no? I'm in bed. So uh, am I, Ham. Well, if you want to get up, then do that. <laughs> if you go... We're sorry. The caller you're trying to get <laughs> It goes straight to voicemail. Uh, I think it would be smart to put that back. Alright, let's go. Okay. Alright, good luck with that. Carol's <laughs> uh, ends up going upstairs. Uh, as soon as they get up, I jump into that big pit. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going with Kairos. Going with Kairos? Okay. So the two of you end up going upstairs. Um, Kairos, the door was still unlocked uh, from when you had opened it previously. Um, I'm going to cast a uh, light so she can see. 
in the darkness. She has night vision? Mm-hmm. Well, I assume the light will make it easier to... Sure. When you do do that, uh, it radiates the whole top end and shoots light down. Uh, some of the patrons begin kind of looking up. Oh. At the light, because <laughs> all right, um, then I'll snuff it out, I guess. Well, you wouldn't know that. Um, okay, Kairos, you do have light on you right now. Um, no, I I hit I attached it to the hilt of my sword, and I'm like using it as like a flashlight. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm it's sticking a kind it. Of a big radiation. I'm sticking it in in the building. Okay, I want you to do room. a dexterity check so that you don't cut any of the. Which you don't know about. Which I don't. Yeah, you don't know about. Oh shit. I got a 15. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know about the, the wires. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 15 uh, plus one, 16. 16. So you end up shoving your blade in there, and when that happens, it kind of glows to where all the, uh, the strings are, but you don't cut anything. But to your knowledge, you kind of freeze up noticing that, oh, I'm can not I like, gonna say can anything. I like, kind of like put my hands up and like have him take the sword out of the wires? You could do that. Yeah. I will. I will let her hands guide mine. Okay. So you take your blade out. You have this beacon of light that's coming up to the top. Uh, some of the patrons are looking up and kind of beginning can to I come hear upstairs. Them? Uh, you can see them down below. Okay. And it's like an open pit. So can I snuff it? Yeah, you can stop it. Boom. That's um, off. Can I try to get back into the room? Yeah, go ahead and I'm acrobatics like... check. Uh, 15. 15? All right. You slip in with ease. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll a history check if you want to try and get it as close as you can to what it, where it was. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait. History? Yep. Dirty 22. Dirty 22. So you begin trying to get it exactly how you recall it. Um, Bjorn, you start hearing patrons making their way up. Um, Can I, like, look out? Do you see that? Does he see them? He sees that. Can I look out to see if it's, like, do you know who we're trying to find? I don't. I don't know who this person is. I don't know either. Oh, okay. well, well, you just know that you had a giant beacon and people yeah, were curious. Can I, like, look, I'm, I'm going to look no. out the door to you to see if I need to, like, get it going. Or... I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah, people are, I'm going to be like I'm this. I'm going to stay in the room. <laughs> it's a, it's a quite a distance up, but um, oh. what are you doing? Come you had some roll of history, so let's put the books back. Let's get the hell out. Or I could stay in the room and spy. Good. What is that? What you would like to do? I don't know. You want to watch another couple? No, but <laughs> I'm really curious about who this person. I mean, you already—that's just your. You character. already went in on another group. Listen, can... I'll go ahead and let you know right now. Nothing else is going to happen if the story does move both of us into this room, just because this kind of mental thing—it's that's all that's going to happen. Okay. Is there like, like? Can I look around to see if there's any good hiding spots that I could like hide in if I were to see in the room? Just from your memory and the history check that you did have done, mm-hmm. uh, really the only place that you could hide would probably be under the bed. Is it like, is it is the bed frame like easily, like you could easily see under it or is it pretty like- It's pretty hidden? tucked in. The fact that you're so tiny uh, allows you to, you would be able to <laughs> slip underneath. <laughs> what I want to stay in that room. Not that, Andrew. You want to stay? I want to stay. <laughs> okay. Just let me know then. I think I should get information. All right. All right. I can't lock the stove back, so. Can I lock it from the inside? It'd be very difficult, but you probably could. There's wires kind of in the way. And you would know that uh, the door would be unlocked. I'll just leave it unlocked then. I don't want to risk tripping anything. I'm gonna go hide under that bed. <laughs> I can't like try to relock it, right? Like there's no like knob or anything. There 
No, that you you would be able to pick it, but to no. unlock it or to relock it, it would be. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna close this door. Um. Real quick, if you you know where our room's at, so if you need to escape. Um, hey, mm-hmm. can you promise me something? Mm-hmm. Don't let him into my face. All right, I'll try. <laughs> my fucking bed ham. Can I put you back for the night from the tiny ones? I don't care. <laughs> I'm sleep on the top bunk. <laughs> Ham had already gotten off the top. Yeah, he it. literally top. got it. <laughs> he as, soon as, as soon as you left, no, he jumped was, on the bed. No, he didn't even. No, it was it was when we, you got off the bed is when he jumped on the bed. And you know he you know he's sleeping. Did you naked. say that? Nay, I did. He did. didn't no, say. Did you did you tell me that he's? <laughs> no, well he uh, for the sake of the story, let me say you guys end up leaving the room, closing the door behind you, and Ham hopped off and jumped right. Okay. Why? Okay. Um, <laughs> good luck. Kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna close the door. Now. <laughs> uh, you start end up heading down. Um, you turn around the corner and walk down, and, and you see um, the tall dragonborn and the drow making their way up um, from the, the the adventurers that were down below. What are you doing up here? Do you have a room? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. You? Yeah. Oh, and yeah? He kind of wraps his hand around the oh. drow woman. Mm. Yeah. Are you, uh... What are you doing in the morning? I honestly don't know. What are you doing in the morning? Going right to the Hunter's Guild. Uh, I haven't really heard anything about this hunting scale. Not uh. being completely honest. Well, you see, I mean, Pointed at, at a uh, looks like a almost like a wyvern claw. The arm, that one was ours. Nice. So you guys are part of the guild then. Ah, we have uh, trophies throughout, but uh, I like it. Just pointing the one out. Okay. My character knows about that or no? You were there during the battle. <laughs> well, I'm not sure like what memories I have. In you the- have all of your. Own you ever heard about Diablo? Diablo? El Diablo. Oh, El Diablo. Yeah, I did hear about that. That terror that roams the sands in between the monstrum and Siren's Bell. I heard a group of adventurers killed that. Did you? I just walked by him and they gave him a tap on the shoulder. You got no trophy. I don't believe you. That's all right. He's naked. They oh, knew everything damn. that he had. Hopefully one of my uh, crewmates will show you. I'd like to see that. Mm-hmm. And the drow woman kind of giggles uh, on after they enter one of the rooms. We need to do the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Kawaii Q. So <laughs> I hope that picked that up. <laughs> All right, can you, uh, can you, <laughs> you, know, uh, can you say this into the microphone? Come on, you're supposed to sprinkle him in every once in a while. <laughs> I almost did Kairos in this voice. I'm glad I did it. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it. All did right. you want? I thought yeah, I go for it. Yeah, do, yeah, do, do it. Do it. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's on the internet forever. Yep. <laughs> this is the Drow Woman. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Why, why, why am oh, I doing just this? You know, you're just under the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Alright, I need that as a ringtone. <laughs> no! Put that on the Patreon thing. If you had, if you did Kairos' voice in that, you know how, you know how vastly our views would increase. Yeah, they would like to <laughs> their shit. We'll Kawaii and for the pro- wrong reasons. <laughs> Oops. Views are views. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, uh, Bjorn, anyway. you're making your way down. Kairos, you're kind of tucked I'm in. I'm under the bed. Um, (laughs) Ham, you've gotten yourself situated in, uh, huh? I just wanted to mess up the sheets. Uh, What? What are you doing? I would like to go back down to the bar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You make your way down to the bar. Uh, Bjorn is heading down the stairs. Did you guys want to go together or... 
I'll go down to the bar. What else am I gonna do? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna go get some fresh air outside. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know we're not that. Doing, so. We're not doing any of that. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll meet him and then. Okay. I'll go we're gonna put a pin in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Putting that pin in. So what feels like almost an eternity, where this this fusion of energy just wrapping around you. Um. You can just feel like just this sense of flames as his fingers kind of drag across your chest and go in between your legs and spread them open. Um, what do you do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I ain't doing shit. I'm letting it happen. <laughs> Whatever he wants to do. Whatever Honestly, he I'm wants. just here. <laughs> so there's uh, that stimulation of that flame, uh, but. Where you're well, going. actually, you know what? Oh, just, yeah. Sorry, just to make it a little more romantic, because um, this is my first time, and I did tell him that. Yeah. Um, so, I kind of want it to be like a like a cutesy, like I don't know what I'm doing, and so like he's kind of just guiding. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> shut up. I'm trying to make it like nice. All right. I'm. To, I'm reclaiming. I'm reclaiming this scene. Okay. <laughs> we get one million views because of this scene. I hope you're ready. Um, oh, I doubt that. Yeah. I kind of want it to be like, um, when his his hands kind of like swipe across, whatever, and it's kind of like me just understanding that like it's moving. It's a moving of body parts. It's like a dance. Yes. Um. And I want it to be cute and beautiful like that, like how Aaron tried to create a beautiful thing, and all of us, myself included, tried to pervert that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, I kind of want it to function as like a, a dance of sorts, but like he's leading and I'm doing my best to follow. Okay. Um, I want you to do a performance check for me. It's this moment of learning, there's this moment of just becoming one, where there's student and teacher, but you've it's always poor been... choice of words, Sean. Well, I mean... <laughs> In a way, in terms of this art, um, what'd you get? 17. 17. So you're measuring his movements and almost tracing his fingers along behind as if there's the flames behind his fingers drawing these like, these little, like a flame trace. So where his fingers trace or touched, a flame trail goes across. And when your fingers go across that same moment, a veil of ice crystallizes. It's a, a moment of just this energy. And there's a gentle moment. There's just softness, quietness, ecstaticness. There's there's just this these overwhelming senses of feelings to the point where you feel that your body's about to combust. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. Stop it! <laughs> right, so you don't even... You are ruining my moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but you feel like you're about ready to combust, and right before you do... Um, Levios. You feel this moment of calmness, and he... You can feel his hand against your cheek, and before... You, that explosion of feeling, um, his lips meet yours, and you can feel just the warmth between your legs. And at that moment, the two of you separate, and you're back into this, in back into the barn, um, heads resting against one another. He kind of backs away a little bit and kind of gives you a cheeky grin. Of, well, I hope it wasn't too much for the first time. Me just like trying to catch my breath. Um, that was that was that was beautiful. Um, you'll have to forgive me. I forgot myself. Um, I don't want to make assumptions, but I can. I, I'm assuming this isn't the first time you've done this. No. 
Um, for my first time, it was it was it was great. Um, thank you. It's my pleasure. Um, yeah. But I, <laughs> I think I will um, take my leave. Um, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I didn't mind at all. <laughs> um, I'll look for your sister. I'll leave in the morning. Uh, towards the Dragon Mountains. Um, like I mentioned, that element I'm so curious about. But after there, I plan on traveling back towards the port. I get word of her, don't you? Um, thank you. But it also did just cross my mind. Um, my companions and I are headed that way. Um, if it's not an inconvenience, um, you could travel with us. Travel? Safety in numbers? Go ahead and roll persuasion. Persuasion's gonna find me in his war room and not want to go to the mountains. <laughs> um, he gets up and kind of dusts himself off and extends an arm out to you. Because you had been sitting down. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry, John's just, he's really doing it for me right now. <laughs> His face is just... It's hitting I'm all trying. The <laughs> this is a beautiful I'm moment. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you dare. Don't look at the Snapchat. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't look at the Snapchat. <laughs> um, don't look. He. <laughs> I'm worried. I haven't looked at the Snapchat, don't. but I know that's Neither have I, but I've been seeing it. <laughs> it's, it's, a co- it's a wombo combo deal with John and Sophie. God oh my. Taking the helmet. Uh, he ends up picking you up, uh, and when he does. Uh, his uh, hand reaches underneath your chin and he brings you in for a kiss. And there is just a, a slight spark when your lips touch and he smiles at you and lets go of your hand. Y'all feral. Feral! <laughs> Monsters! Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. God, nasty I'm, trying to keep it, I'm over here trying to keep it lifetime and y'all are taking it to like... <laughs> TMZ levels. <laughs> I'm waiting for. Uh, I'll read that, that later. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I kind of just like. That was pretty good. Touch my lips a little bit. Um, well, uh, then I shall see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning it is. And he uh, gives Shadow Man uh, um, a nice like caress on um, the front of their nose, and she. <laughs> Kind of begins counting. Well, she's irritated with us. We should probably leave. Well, we did invade her space. We did. Sorry, girl. And he puts, just kind of gives her a little pat. And... I want to like try to like under under the snout. Snout. Uh, do an animal handling check. I promise. The scent of Nyla's probably still on me. Seventeen? Oh, that's a... Uh, no, nineteen. Nineteen. Um... Dirty, dirty twenty-one. Dirty twenty-one. Uh, when you put your hand underneath their mouth, she just kind of gives you, like, little little kisses, little nibbles. And, uh, she's... It's, the energy feels very comfortable. Booger. Booger. From the dog? Is that in your nose, buddy? Oh my god. <laughs> baby. Oh, he's bloody nose. Sniffing too hard. But she seems very accepting of you and just kind of uh, 
kind of nuzzling at you, giving you like little kisses. She likes you. I have a way with animals. Get on the table. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 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 Me just <laughs> giggling. It's <laughs> the best very kind of you to say. <laughs> um, would it be too much to ask for you to walk a lady to her room? Be my pleasure. And he brings you inside. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this pin in that, uh, Ham and Bjorn, you guys make your way downstairs. Uh, you do see Opal um, holding this gentleman's hand, coming inside, and they walk past you and begin walking up the stairs. The two of you are by the tavern keep. I'm going outside. What can I do for you boys? I'm, I'm going outside. I wasn't going to the tavern. I was just going walking outside. Oops. Just to chill outside. Yeah. See if I can find that dwarf waitress again. All right. Here we go. Now it's hands turn. God, <laughs> um, what can I do for you, lad? You've been here quite a few times this morning. Yes. Fortunately, I think my roommates are a little too loud for me. Do you got a, a bigger room that's for a single person? Why? Definitely. Yeah. How much would that cost? About 15 silver. Hmm. All right, I'll take it. All right, uh, go ahead and go over to the uh, the innkeep over there. She'll get you all taken care of. Oh, I thought it was talking to the innkeep. Oh, the dwarf. You're going to the bar. Dwarf waitress. She's uh, the... by the uh, the inn portion of it. Ah. Uh, seems like she has let the the uh, goblins kind of take the reins and begin bringing drinking drinks and all that good fun stuff. And she's just getting them ready for everyone to retire for the night, taking their money. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for that room. I'm gonna walk over to her. So Hildor, uh, notice you've uh, been taking an interest in me. Well, curious. I'm curious about what? What Hildorf is doing out here? Hmm. We're not very common here. Just, uh, living the life of adventure and excitement. Oh, do tell. I have a lot of adventurers coming here sharing stories. What's yours? Yeah, war, monsters, love, death. Seen it all. Done it all. Done it all, I guess. There is one thing I haven't done, oh though. My God. Here we go. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> oh? What's... Yes. What's happened to you, Dad? I've, uh... yet to know a, a beautiful dark dwarf like yourself. Putting the creamer in the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you guys are awful. <laughs> It is uh putting those the chocolate uh, syrup on the Sunday. Awfully oh awfully cold in these lands and I have a bedroom all to myself. No you don't. No, I bought, you a, bought a new oh, yeah. one. To get oh chocolate. you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just your mic them over. It. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well it's cause you're built colder than us, where dragons are a little bit more. More of a little furnace ourselves. We can keep our own heat. Nice and warm, then. Do you think it'd be too hot? Mm. We could certainly try. Persuasion. <laughs> Ice pack. I'm busy sleeping with all my friends. A 19. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's up? What was it? A 19. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, well, after I get these other patrons to sleep, I think maybe we can um, maybe start a furnace of our own. <laughs> yes. 
See, whereas mine was beautiful, yours is going to be filthy. Oh, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her my my room number and then head up there. I know your room number. I gave it to you. I have a oh, key. yeah. Don't worry, I have a key. Silly. I'm gonna hand her three gold. Maybe bring some snacks and a couple of bottles of wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Making her do all the work, John? Really? Oh, I'm gonna be doing some work. <laughs> so we're gonna put a pin in that. <laughs> um, Bjorn, you're outside. I don't know if my thing can top what's gonna b- about to happen. So should we just put a pin in this? No, no, no. 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 Everyone's face, playing face today. Your fears. <laughs> Yes, you do. Everyone is. Hey, I'm just here. hiding under a bed. Somehow, Kairos <laughs> finds themselves in weird situations. <laughs> Somehow, uh, it's the mischievous fox nature. Yeah. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh, yeah. I was just just looking around. I'll just do a perception. Yeah. If that's okay. Go ahead and roll perception. I have no modifiers, so. Uh, I got a 16. 16. So you notice off to the east, uh, there seems to be actually quite a few hunting lodges. Um, you can probably assume that there might be um, that of the Hunter's Guild. Uh, lights are still visible from where you are, even though it's quite a distance out there. Uh, the moonlight is shining quite nicely just to be able to see that. Um, you do see smoke kind of going out in the distance from where they might be roasting or cooking or doing what they might be doing. Uh, but you do notice that um, off in the distance. Is there any spot to like just sit down and... Yeah. Uh, I would say with that roll, uh, you make your way towards uh, like the stable area. Okay. Uh, you do notice... Um, Something smells funky? No. You see... Uh, you notice <laughs> as you're walking out across there, you see Skull... Uh, you see Nyla, you see uh, Hattie, you also see a beautiful uh, black-maned horse mm-hmm. just kind of looking at you in very, very intelligent eyes uh, with that perception roll. Uh, but you make your way... See, Andrew, see I'll Andrew. Right back. No worries. You end up making your way towards the side and there is a... I'm going to um, give Andrew a hug with lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Be safe. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Just because of how many plazas there were. Yeah. Um, which not necessarily all of our faults, but can we go until eight? What was it? Can we go until eight? Go until eight? Yes. Yeah, actually, uh, I have the timer and it should end like a little before eight. You have something to do after eight? No, I want I I because like most most sessions we end at like seven thirty, so I wanted to. Oh, you wanted to keep it keep it yeah. going for a little longer. And we did, we didn't start until much later than four, so yeah, we're we're technically still doing good time. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Um, all right. Um, so you do notice that uh, if you go around to the corner of where the stable is, there's like a bench area, a pitchfork off to the side, hay it looks like. Uh, you just kind of find you're sitting um, on the bench and just kind of looking out. Uh, you do see like the, this is facing the other way from where you saw the hunters um, lodge. Uh, and you just see out in the distance just this almost like a go ahead and roll a perception roll actually I got a four four um, you don't see shit <laughs> you're looking out into the distance and it's kind of hard to see but you do see like an outline of what looks like it, it looked like a mountain but it begins moving and shifting mm. and then kind of resting um, but it's quite a distance away um there's not very much uh, bioluminescent fungi out in that in that way, but um, with where you're at, uh, you can actually kind of see. Even with that that roll, uh, you do notice that there is ash in the air. So your thought is that you might be near a uh, volcano. 
Well, near one of the uh, Calamity Scars. How close am I? Not close enough? For? To, to look at these Calamity Scars? Not close enough to see it, but you okay. do notice that there's ash in the air, just based on when you last experienced the Calamity Scar, um, that you were kind of in proximity of. I'm just going to take out my weapon and just start sharpening it. Okay, absolutely. I don't know what else to do, honestly. <laughs> um, pin in that. Uh, Opal, he ends up bringing you across the area and holding, a, kind of just holding your arm as he kind of holds. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and in the distance you do see Ham just kind of up at the inn area and he has like a whole bunch of food and some wine and stuff and he makes make he starts making his way upstairs um <laughs> you end up walking over to um the inn receptionist and you can see that she's kind of blushing a little bit and uh oh, it is, oh um hi um what can i get for you um I would like to rent a room. Of course. Um, I would like one that is fairly large um, and uh, of single use. Single use. One bedroom. Yes. She's kind of shuffling her eyes between the two. Right. Uh, one bedroom, I guess. It seems like today is a good night for. <laughs> For uh, mischievous. Um, you have a room. Yeah. Well, I don't know that, but also. Um, you do. Oh, yeah, I do. Because yeah, you right. told yeah, me. I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, but, like, playing that off. Um, <laughs> you, you, you're so cute. Um, he is. He's just going to walk me yeah. to my room. Yeah, okay, to the door. And then at that moment, uh, her eyes flash a lavender glow and you hear in your head um are you getting lucky tonight Karen or have you already I I already (laughs) have and the way in which I got lucky um was an exchanging of energies and that's about as far as I'm willing to go tonight (laughs) you're not willing to go physical you hear this all in your head as her eyes I just, I just and she's kind of talking at the same time to the other, uh, uh, to Cla... Cla... Cladric? Cordric. Cordric. Uh, but you're hearing this all the same in your head. Um, I'm aware of this, right? That he can also hear this? He can't hear this? It's a... She... So, the deep dwarves are... They have a type of telekinetic... So she, but she's just talking to me, or is she talking to? Me? So she's talking physically to him and mentally talking to you. Ah, gotcha. okay. Um, ah, he's very sweet. Um, but as a friend of mine had mentioned earlier, I don't really know that much about him, and I, I still have my flower. Oh, dearie, you cherish it. So mentally is all that I'm willing to do. And it kind of severs. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm... How much was, how much was the room, by the way? Fifteen, so. Um, I just... Just to kind of emphasize that I want something that's nice, but also like a single room, mm. I'll give her two gold pieces. Oh. Well, we have a room... One left towards the top. Um, it's not being occupied right now. Um, would you like that one? I would. And I just kind of present. She could, quickly snatches the, the gold. Uh, ends up presenting to you a room key. It's uh, all the way up towards the top. Not the very last door, but three doors before that. Thank you. And you make your way up. Um, you stop at your room, and uh, he's kind of staring off at the room down the hall. Um, your room, your room. Oh. 
<laughs> turn that key. Um, you got a room this year. <sighs> Thank you for everything. For everything. I'll see you in the morning. Quite right. He gives a simple bow and uh, waits until you close the door. As he's bowing, I'm going to rip. I'm gonna flip this shit. So, yeah. uh, chin <laughs> up. Oh, I'm gonna give him a little kiss on the cheek. Oh man! <laughs> you that. can see that he's a little off taken by that, and just <laughs> gives you a, a grin. I'm a power bottom. <laughs> 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 um, These are my notes. Just so you know. It's <laughs> a fan of making not a campaign. <laughs> yeah, this ep- the last two episodes. Of- <laughs> this episode, <laughs> we should we should just call it "Not Safe for Children." <laughs> that that the episode title. Yeah, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Parents, if you're watching this, if your kids are watching this, why? Shame on you. Get out. Shame on you. Get out. God. Uh, he oh. seems taken back by this, but he has a, a grin on his face and just smiles and makes his way down to his room. Closes the door. <sighs> Sinks against the door frame. <laughs> um, I can't wait. wait. Can't wait to tell Kat in Europa. <laughs> uh, Kairos, you hear the door. <laughs> Pay attention to how he gets rid of it. Mm. Can I see him? Like, am I am I able to watch, or am I only listening? You're kind of underneath the the bed itself right now. I would say that you can't really see. Okay. Uh, but you're listening. Okay. Uh, so you hear. We try to, but he's looking around and he's like... And you hear the sound of just whirling. And you hear the door close. And there's slight, like, pacing happening. Um, you can tell that it's almost like a slight panic. Um... But then eventually there's a sense of relaxation and the, the pacing and clearness. I must have just forgot to lock this. Everything's here. And you hear um, water being turned turned on and like a bath being started. And all the while you can now kind of see like like just feet going kind of back and forth. But I'm watching his dogs. Sorry. <laughs> watching his dogs. Character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see his feet kind of going back and forth, and there's uh, he he disrobes. You see like the clothes kind of go into a corner. Okay. And then it eva- like go almost a life of its own, and ends up kind of going up and then hanging itself up. And you can the just clothes? kind of barely see this. The clothes do that. The clothes do that. He takes it off. Um, throws it on the ground and just magically it kind of goes up and kind of hangs itself up. Uh, you see his two feet. Um, I want you to do a stealth check. Oh shit. Fuck. You sneeze. <laughs> do you have, uh, do you have, so I rolled in that one. Do you have inspiration? I think they might. I have not gotten any in this campaign. Does my like bonus skill stat still apply to that? Since it's a nat one. I or? technically and it's an automatic fail, but what what is your? It would make it a ten. It would make <laughs> it my a ten. stealth is nine. Um. Oh shit. So <laughs> yeah. He ends up um, like making his way towards the. Um, what appears to be the restroom, and there's a slight pop in your joint <laughs> while you're trying to keep yourself like steady and quiet. Oh, no. And he like gets up and he looks around, and you see his footprints kind of come back over towards the uh, the bed, and 
there's a closet that's there where his clothes kind of went up. He opens it up and looks inside. And he's glancing about and he, he all of a sudden uh, in, uh, repeats, Encanto. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And there's like a verber, like a vibration throughout the whole room. Okay. And you feel your body kind of shake a little bit as the room itself shifts and kind of contorts. Mm. And when this happens, um, <laughs> the bed itself ends up, like things are moving around, they're shifting all the way around. And um, I need you to roll a dexterity check for me. Hold on, I'm writing. Because <laughs> I will forget. Uh, dexterity? Dexterity check. Please stop failing me. D. So it'll be... Oh, is it not? Yeah, it's... Whatever your dexterity is. Yeah. So plus three. So that, my roll plus three? Yeah. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. So as things kind of shift and move, you kind of quickly grab a hold of, like, the bed frame. Mm Mm-hmm. And due to your lightness, you are kind of being drug around the whole room, but you're holding tightly and swiftly to the, the bed frame itself. I did this. So and eventually, it kind of rests over here. <laughs> back to where it was. just a light emitting um, you're not entirely sure what it is but there's almost a roar of flame where are you? <laughs> what did I do? I'm just gonna stay clean <laughs> 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 only a few that are this sneaky. There's no magical invisibility going on. <laughs> Fuck. Things moved around. You know, it's a good thing that she's not a spellcaster because you can't pick up on... She is, though. She is? In a way. She's an arcane. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> How was I supposed to know? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I was saying she's he's from the same place, so he would know about oh, her. Oh. Fuck it. <laughs> well, also because, well, you don't know this. I know this. Um, but the Norfoxes are like the majority in, in your region. Uh-huh. Um, so I don't necessarily know if he would harbor maybe some kind of resentment towards you. When this happens, um, <laughs> due to his roll, uh, the oh he rolled bed frame that you're kind of holding onto lifts up into the air, and you're holding onto the frame, <laughs> and you're now eye to eye with him. And he has one finger up with the bed frame floating, <laughs> and he's looking at you. Lie. Deny. <laughs> what am I doing there? This is my room. <laughs> Very much not your room. In fact, I remember you coming in with that group earlier. Opal is a companion of yours. Can I just like drop and try to run towards the door? Uh, do a dexterity roll. Come on. Please, guys. Try the big one, girl. This one always fails me. Oh, okay, sure. never mind then. Yes! Send it! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Oh, so you okay. drop Wait, down Wait, dexterity? From... Dexterity, yes. Is that on I think here? that's a plus three. Plus three. Okay. 
Okay. So you drop it down, and as you begin running towards it, he quickly grabs you by the drape of your neck. There you are. Just <laughs> we need some drape armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, Spiky drape. A neck shield. A neck shield. A neck shield. Ah, he has you kind of gripped up to the deal. You're one of Opal's companions, aren't you? <laughs> Checking up on me. He just kind of lets out a sigh and puts you down. <sighs> if I didn't know Opal the way that I do now, you wouldn't be existing anymore, do you understand? <laughs> Y'all be lucky that I fucked him. <laughs> Six ways to Sunday. <laughs> you, you you walking away with your life right now. <laughs> Kairos does not like confrontation. <laughs> uh, Kairos didn't grow up. With are you gonna? Family. You should just start like just giving not. the biggest teary. <gasps> Wait, no. Put your ears down. Roll for yeah, cuteness. Can, can I roll for cuteness? <laughs> roll for cuteness. You better give that an advantage. Just a, just a, just a straight twenty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, please. It's a ten. <laughs> he looks down at you. I'll always be fond of little foxes. You can also ask, you can ask him things. He sets you down. Chris does not like confrontation. No, but you like without. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, not not to sway. That's okay. What you want to do? That's okay. Um, but you guys did read books. Well, you specifically yeah. read a book that he had. Um, and if you had not, you know. But like unknowingly, he you know he's from the same place as you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did say, I'm always fond of Fox. Yeah. So he, you have that knowledge that he at least knows of right. your kind. But let a Cairo. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. No, that's okay. He sets you down and he looks at you. His arms are crossed. He's giving you a very stern look, very similar to what Torrent had given you previously. <laughs> what are you doing so far this way? Fox. And he kind of kneels down and looks at you. Nor wasn't for me. I'm curious why. Usually you kind of don't venture this way. There are things there that I would rather forget. You run away. Judging by your looks, I'd say your early 20s still will be underneath your parental guardian. I like internal way. Respond to that. Hmm. So he probably. I see. How do you know of Nor? I live there. And why I live are there you for here? a large chunk of my life. Uh, so, you're aware of the, um, and you recollect this, mm-hmm. um, the mage school, the, the academy. I've been sent here to go ahead and research this material that apparently is a new, radiates a new element. So not really here by choice to be in Odin, but for the, for the past year, I've called my home the Port Delada. I've just recently been able to find the location of this ore. Has Nor changed at all? Since when? How long have you been here? Last. How long can I ask? As yeah, how um, long have I been on? Since last spring, so almost a whole oh, year. Oh, okay. Almost a whole year. I thought I'd been here longer. Okay, but he's he's been here the, that long too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it's actually relatively the same time span that you've two been. Okay. Can I not ask that question then? I no, thought yeah, I, it's fine. I thought I had been here longer. No, no, you're good. Um. <laughs> 
Are you going to go back? I hope so, as long as I keep my life. Is there a chance that you'll lose it? There's always a chance, though. But where I guess now we're headed, Currently enslaving the dwarves in the Dragon Mountains to mine this material. I'd I'd hope that there wouldn't be very much bloodshed, but I'm a little worried that there is going to be. Can I use your restroom? Thank you. But far be it from the first suicide mission I've been sent on from the academy. So. You know the people of Nod, their traditions, their <sighs> not want to change, stuck in their ways. That's for sure. So it's the same every time I get sent out on a mission. Anyway, little one, you should be careful where you put your nose. I will be joining you, so I'll keep an eye on you tomorrow. You went to the full ball. Okay. He smiles and... Here, this isn't much. And he has this, um... Little bracelet that has... Tiny bells on it. But the bells themselves... Don't ring. The bell rings for those who truly believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Polar Express hashtag. Yep. <laughs> um, Cut that out. <laughs> this is uh, from Noah. It used to be uh, my brother's. It doesn't ring to my ears when it jingles. It. But when it jingles, you hear it ring. Frequency is that of small foxes. They can pick up on it, and some creatures can. Usually, this is, was used to be able to call for help at great distances in Noah. Why are you giving it to me? He hands it to you and puts it in your little paw. <laughs> <laughs> even though home might be scary, it shouldn't be forgotten. And he smiles at you and kind of gives you a little gentle pat outside of his door. <laughs> what is your name? Kairos. Kairos. It's a pleasure. I look forward to traveling with you. It's good to see someone from the country. I just turn and walk towards the room where my bed is. Well, he laughs. So. He's, not, he's not in there. I oh, don't he's care because he probably laid in it. Yeah, I fucked up the sheets. <laughs> he closes the door and you make your way down. Uh, your ears slightly drooped because you have been gotten caught. Just kind of... I have no luck. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, at least in these lighthouses... <laughs> Kairos just does not. <laughs> it's just a character quirk of Kairos. <laughs> um, and you begin making your way down, and you come to your room, and you do notice that um, the bed is just disheveled, pillows are on the ground. Um, it looks like there's only one little sheet that's there, and then the rest of the sheets are stuffed in a corner. Uh, very tall, very high. Uh, you might be able to get a hold of it, but there's just a little sheet there. Can I tear this room apart? I'm so <laughs> mad right now. <laughs> I guess I'll go to sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you begin just destroying things. I'll just pick her up the back of the neck. Knock it off. Uh, <laughs> it's not there. He can't stop me. Bjorn, um, 
you're outside. You do notice uh, just. Are you done? Like bedtime. Can I throw yeah. shit? Out? Is there a window? Uh, there. It, the window itself it is closed. Um, there's not like there's not bars, but it's just glass. Oh, okay. But are you done after that? Yes, I'm done. Okay, after your tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do something. Also, I did. I had to do I something, something in my control. You did go to sleep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Bjorn, uh, what are you doing before bed? I guess, I don't know. Just, I'll just stay up and then I can just have my character auto go to sleep. <laughs> like over the door. NPC. Would have put a, uh, a pin in that. Um, Pam. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> You're Last in your room. Um, uh, you, um, you end up, uh, kind of making the bed, uh, Getting things looking nice. What what are you doing? I'm just I'm just waiting for this uh star dwarf to log in. Okay. Uh it seems like an hour or two passes. <laughs> and you hear a knock on the door. Go and open it. Okay. And you see the uh, dark dwarf looking at you eye to eye. Uh her uh, white hair kind of kind of drooped in her face a little bit. Mm. She's a little bit disheveled, um, but still wearing her barkeep attire. So, uh, may I come in? Of course. She walks in and uh, kind of just walks around a little bit and notices the food and the wine and everything. So, what do you want to know about hill dwarfs? Is their mound as large as their mound? <laughs> as they say, as the hill. Hi. Is their mound as large as the mound? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't received any complaints. Hey. She approaches you and puts her hand on your chest and kind of shoves you to the bed. I have seen many die without living life to the fullest. So let's honor those that can't and be loud and rough and make love deep into the night. (laughs) So for the dead. For the dead. She (laughs) grins and uh, rips your shirt off. Yeah, go ahead and roll for performance. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, roll for performance. Oh, God. Three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are underperforming, my God. Damn it. <laughs> uh, she rips off your shirt. Her G spot is here. You're like all the way over here. It's for inspiration. <laughs> tearing it apart. I'm using it. You're this is a savage attack. You're going full rage. No, I'm just using the inspiration point on oh, this. Oh, you're using your inspiration point. Oh, you're using his inspiration. <laughs> I'm... Yes. Yeah. Fucking 20. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, so it's over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Try to give it a pep talk, you know. <laughs> Wait, do not fuck me on this. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> So she ends up uh, kind of throwing you on the bed, ripping off your shirt. Um, she kind of uh, just begins taking off her clothes and just kisses you deeply. Um, you start feeling this like tingly sensation on your lower back, and uh, when you grasp for air, you see that her eyes are glowing that lavender color, color, and there's just like this tingling sensation on your lower back as. She ends up just kind of taking off her own clothes in this hurry, this rush. Down. Can I half activate my ring? Half activate? Half activate. I think it's it's full full blown or? It's full bear or no bear? Yeah. All right, never mind, that's dangerous. Uh (laughs) Oh, oh, (laughs) Never mind. The the totem warrior thing, yeah. What are you doing? (laughs) 
while I can't change the pair, I'm going to deeply claw her back and pull her close into me. Okay. Uh, when she does that, she just kind of lets out a grasp of air and her hands like dig into your beard and just kind of pull you in as she grasps into you and begins just shoving herself against you. You feel the heat of her skin. You feel... <laughs> Uh, you feel her breasts against you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the dog is just like. Uh, I need you to go ahead and roll a strength check. Oh Jesus! Oh shit! Roughly. <laughs> that ass sit like a stallion. A twenty. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That's seventeen plus three. Uh, when this happens, uh, you end up picking her up uh, and then kind of ramming across to the other side of the room and you hit the wall together. Um, at this point in time, like, your pants are off, your shirt's off, her clothes are off. Uh, she's just kind of gripping a hold of your head and as you're just kind of ramming her up against the, <laughs> you go. Go ahead, <laughs> the, uh, the wall, um, while this is happening, you can just feel, like, just this tingly sensation just going down below and just you feel that your loins are getting stimulated in a different way um, as her eyes meet yours and they're glowing that lavender glow. Um, she kisses you passionately. Um, you can feel just your nails dig into her, her ass and her lower back. <laughs> what else are you doing? <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> Millie's gonna hate me. This, this. Oh, Can I pull out the rope and the manacles? Okay. All right. Let's have a little more fun, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> she she laughs and. What do you got for me? Should I tie you up or should you tie me up? Oh, let's tie you. That's his, yeah. You just hit his, 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 yeah. his, flick, his flick switch up. Yep. We gotta have that button. Nut. <laughs> <laughs> Nut. Nut. <laughs> Bruh. And I'll let the imagination run wild. Plans of the night. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. I don't think I'm chugging I the beer. I don't think I uh, so tell you this enough, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, so long rest. Long rest. Make sure you have a long rest. Hell yeah. Everyone. <laughs> um, for the, so, real quick. So I went back into the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw Kairos. If you want to see the situation, I put a, it in the. <laughs> I saw it. She was like angry and <laughs> screaming and then tearing up and then I just closed the door <laughs> and I just I just go sleep outside. Wait. So our temporary hit points go away, right? Temporary hit points do go away. Yep. Sorry. After each so uh, rest or long rest. Long rest? Yeah, long rest. It'll be a long rest. <laughs> Are you sure it's going to be a long rest? I, 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 I rested just fine. Yeah, you did good, <laughs> but I don't know I about fun. this this gentleman over here. He, him, for him specifically, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> After that, he slept like a fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I get like not full rest because I slept outside? No, I'd say you go. Okay. No, it's still you were too point. tired to do anything else. Yeah. Uh, so the following morning, um, a lot of you end up making your way downstairs. Uh, the dwarves are being merry and um, kind of a little uh, hair of the dog, so to speak, just drinking in the morning, uh, gathering their things, and a lot of them uh, notice, oh, I how the rest of you sleep? Kind of getting their packs together and as you all kind of made your way down. You all have a pretty cheeky look on your face. You're upset. What the rest of you? I'm gonna say that because of what just happened, I'm, I'm... and I don't necessarily, I'm gonna describe it, but please, for both of you, remain in character um, I took a little extra time with how I ch look today. So, um, there's some braids in my hair. 
Um, I actually chose to apply some very light, but like makeup. Um, I'm looking very nice. Uh, and this isn't necessarily something that I expect the boys of the group to notice because when I did have those moments where I changed for like half seconds, they didn't really notice. <laughs> so I'm not really expecting them to notice this. It's the other guy, the what's his name, right? It's for him. Yes. And really only the girls would notice this. Maybe not Kairos, because she, she doesn't know me very well. And also, yes, she's an animal. <laughs> but um, if Chris and Europa were here, yeah. <laughs> they would definitely notice. The two of them definitely have noticed, and like even uh, Europa is kind of quiet. And you can see just like a little sheepish grin mm -hmm. on her face, very cat-like. Um, and cat, oh, wasn't that nice? What? I just, I thought, you know, oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. take a little extra care of my time. Everyone wants a little extra care, she <laughs> says. Um, but you all make, uh, gather your things. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I think I'm just getting some breakfast. So like, yeah. some eggs, some bacon, some toast. Eggs, bacon, toast. Um, let's see here. Oh, well actually, I don't know what the cuisine is here, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, just uh, honest breakfast. Um, you do see um, the uh, barkeep made uh, kind of lock pie, and you do hear a quick right against, you see him jump up and a slap of his ass, and she walks by and takes your guys' order. Um, for breakfast, um, if you guys wanted to partake in breakfast, it'd be about five silver. Um, yeah, I will do that. Do that? And then I go I go up to Ham. What was that about? Dwarven, uh, good morning. Can I roll for deception? You can roll for insect. Insect. Yeah. Is anyone else getting uh, a How much was it? Five silver. Five silver? Mm -hmm. if, I, if I put in I'm five broken. silver, will it deduct it? Yes. It's Even though all of my money's gold? Sixteen. Sixteen. Minimum amount allowed for each currency type is zero. Because I don't I only have gold. And it, so it won't let me subtract silver. Okay. Because um, I did it wrong. Oh um, eight you just, you just No, should. yeah, it converted some of my gold into silver. Um, that was weird. That was cool though. Silver? Is it five? You just put five it seven. into here, right? Yeah. But it automatically changed some of my gold into silver pieces and then took five off. Cool. For those that did pay, you end up getting seven temporary. Yeah. I'm gonna go outside of the uh, the lighthouse. Um. So seven temporary health, seven temporary health, seven temporary health. Yes. Uh, but seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Uh, you do know that from the last lighthouse, the dwarven oh, was greeting was throwing food at one another. Food. Um. So something's not lining up on that. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't deduct money. It's not unless I do gold. Uh, That's right. Dwarven greeting, you said. Are you sure? Yeah. Because the last time I checked, the Dwarven greeting was throwing food at one another. Two males. It's a female. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Because you all threw food at Cat, myself, and Europa. Oh, you, you guys aren't dwarves, though. We're still female, then. Right. But a female dwarf to a male dwarf, that's the casual. Okay, let's not pretend like we don't know what's happening here. You said distract him. She smacked your ass. Can we treat each other like fucking adults? All right. I like pull up my shirt with a bunch of like scratches. There's and, like, scratches, hickeys. there's bite marks, there's <laughs> strange bruises in areas that you're not entirely sure why they're there. <laughs> Wait, give me your hand. Isn't it so much better when we yes. treat each other like fucking adults? <laughs> well, if you would have came to my room last night, I could have treated you like an adult. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm still fairly decent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going... I thought 
I'm not going to say that you're not attractive. I thought you were with the wizard last night. I was, in a different way. Um, I'm not going to say that you're not attractive, because you are. But that, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Is the, sorry, Nick. Is the currency but, um, rate the same? Good job. Like, this has sil- 10 silver pieces as a gold piece. Uh, it's supposed to be a hundred. Is it a hundred? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna convert. Or is it change? It is 10. Oh, it is 10. I'm sorry. Or is that platinum? Oh, no, silver. That should be, yeah. Okay, 10, yes. So, I'll one gold. I'll subtract a gold then. Yeah. I, I did mine twice, and it did take off one gold piece, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay. Um, Bjorn, you went outside. Uh, it's still dark out, of course. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just getting my stuff ready. Okay. Getting ready for the day. Um, those that did partake in eating, remember there is a seven temporary points added, uh, to your HP. So remember that each rest takes them away, but for the day, when you eat, that temporary point is there. So you have seven temporary HP, uh, for this journey towards the mountains. Need up. So what's the the plan? Are we heading to this hunter's guild or going straight to the mountains? Um Oh you're outside, damn it. Um I have no idea where the hunter's guild is. So I mean if it's on the way to the mountains then we show up but it's about a- I told everybody so they can tell you. You told them. I was not a part of that. Yeah. Well, I, I told you when I interrupted your oh, yeah. first thing before the dude went to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, well, we can... It was only 30 minutes away. I mean, we can I mean, stop it's, off. it's on the way, so we can, we can check it out. Unless I think one of our, our members needs extra money. Also, from what you said... <laughs> from what you said, um, the... The items they they craft out of these beast hides. Yeah. I mean, that's that's worth investigating. Seems pretty durable if they're supplying a whole town's guard with it. It also seems light. Yeah. So that that might be worth a look. It is in a fashionable color too. I do like black. <laughs> Star mines are all in the gutter. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> There's no there. Hopefully the the next episode. <laughs> like, put the next one we just bake a cake. Like, yep. <laughs> like a nice like with pig flowers and shit. <laughs> All right. And you see, uh, as the animals are being let out, um, um, Cordric, Cordric uh, ends up getting out Shadow Mane and mounting the the steed. And begins kind of walking besides the group, this very large group at this point in time. So we have the five dwarves, we have Kydric, we have, of course, Opal, uh, Kairos, Caro, Beethoven, Bjorn, uh, Ham, Aiden, Cat, Europa, and of course, uh, all the animals included. There's a very large group beginning to set off, making their way. Some would almost say a a battalion. If it's you a will. whole caravan. Of yeah, it's a caravan of people. Are we gonna have to like split up or something? Divide and conquer or some I, weird crazy I'm shit? I'm just letting you guys know how, what kind <laughs> I mean, of group made we it have sound going ominous. On. This uh, is good. Oh god. But there's a sense of comfort where you didn't have before. Um, when you first head from the East Caves to the First Tower, there's a sense of dread and discomfort. But now with such a large group, there's a sense of confidence uh, with each step. Uh, Cat ends up popping up on top of Jar's back. <laughs> and um, everyone begins to head their way towards East to where the Dragger Mountains are. And the hunters go. Um, I need two for, uh, two for leading the, the way. I'll lead. Okay. Bjorn, I've seen this. Yeah, someone, someone with night vision. Bjorn, yeah. Bjorn and Ham. Okay. Absolutely. So the two of you end up taking the charge. I need you both to roll a perception. Yes. Oh my god. 
Ah, oh, 18. 18? What was <laughs> I, got a, I got a 17. 17? Nice. Yeah. Uh, so looking ahead, uh, as you continue to make your way towards the, uh, towards the mountains, the mountains themselves look like... They look like obsidian, as if they're made out of glass. Um, very dark peaks. They have a slight shimmer to them, so obsidian seems very much the word to describe this. Mm. Um, by comparison to the East Caves, where there's a whole bunch of ice, um, these are, com- or ice and snow, these are completely, they don't have a blanket of snow on them. The spires look sharp. The, the structure of the, the mountain itself is just almost intimidating and daunting. And you can see at the, even from your distance right now, carvings of dwarves uh, on the side of the mountains as you begin making your way towards that. Um, Bjorn and Ham, you do notice that there is a kind of like a maybe a mile ahead just a weird formation of rocks. How's that? Are we able to see? You can make your way there. Is it like made out of the same rocks as the mountain, or is it just like? It looks like just kind of just typical stones, but they're not like what you would find naturally. Uh, they seem to Someone's be like, like kind of built. I'll leave this up to you because it's, it's dwarf, and I have no. What do you want to do? Well, I don't think that formation's dwarven at all, but might as well check it out. Adventure, right? You know, making your way over to it as the caravan continues and taking a look at that structure and finding out that there's actually a stash there. Uh, there's a small chest, uh, kind of half dug in underneath. It looks like it might have been like a pickup point or a trader of some sort. Maybe an exchange was going to be happening, and that was just a key marker. Well, find, finders keepers, right? Yeah. I guess so. And bust open the chest. Yeah. You end up finding um, a total of four rubies. You end up finding one emerald, five diamonds, and a letter phone. What does the, the letter say? Taking a look at the letter, um, it is in Dwarvish. Nice. Dwarven. Um, so, Ham, you're able to read this. Um, it says, For the refugees, make way, head towards the port. It's the only place that's safe for us right now. Damn. Your loving husband, Yar. Moral compass Do for I you. Fuck Yar. You, you could always take the chest with you, and we can deliver it. I'll leave this up to you, mate. Um, is You're the one that. Is, is there? Wait. Is the letter dated? Is the, yeah, is the letter dated? Uh, <laughs> there's no letter dating, but Ham, as you're reading this, I want you to roll a perception. Uh, five. Right. Um. <laughs> You're just kind of examining the letter, and uh, you read it to yourself. You're the only one that can read that. Um, what do you do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one diamond and leave the rest in there. Okay. And then kind of, kind of tuck it back and fix it, make it look more hidden again. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ham, you do notice this as Ham pops that open and reads the letter, and Ham just closing it, putting it back to kind of where it was. Um, I think this might have been for one of those slave dwarfs that had written that journal there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, in for our travels, and then I'm going to toss you the diamond. Ah, I don't know if I can take it, mate. Ah, they're they're fine. The Do port's not that far. This no, they had kind of scouted off a little bit ahead of the caravan. While so you are all still in the caravan itself, but the two of them have done that. One diamond's not gonna matter. I'll hold on to it. 
So Ham ends up closing the rest and burying it a little bit more nicely and um, kind of tucking everything back and making sure that the letter was back where it was. And the two of was there was there a name on that letter? It just said loving wife. Uh, you're, Yarl. Yarl. From Yarl. From Yarl. But two. There was no name. No two. Okay. All right. Well, I think we should get back to the group. Um, a lot of you had see them emerge from kind of where the hill was, which is where that structure kind of was kind of hidden under a hill, but from where you were, you saw it back there. They kind of come across and uh, make their way towards uh, the group. Awesome. Um, can I retrace those steps? Unbeknownst to them? Um, as the caravan begins moving, uh, you do take a step back. There's a lot of us. Yeah, there's a lot. And you make your way over. Um, sure. Just sure. Um, I kind of just make eyes towards Kairos. Yeah. You guys make your way. Uh, the caravan is continuing forward. Um, I need you both to roll a perception. Kairos, you're kind of uh, just sniffing around, taking a look at seeing where they were, and um, as you're tracking behind them, um, Kairos, you do find the kind of half-buried chest, but around the corner you actually see uh, a skeleton uh, with a, a, a skeleton, sorry, a skeleton of a dwarven body shape with the head missing. Um, and there does, Opal, you do actually pick out um, that there is some of the silver swords just jammed into where the body, like where the body would be, or the body is, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's just skeleton. Um, and it seems like the skeleton's hand was reaching out and cupping a, um, like a letter. Mm-hmm. Is the letter still there? The letter's still there. We want to read the letter. Yeah, we want to read the letter. Uh, you take it off. Um, do either of you know Dwarf? Oh, shit. Um, think about that. I guess I speak Goblin, though. Where's the, where are the languages? I never know it's where all, the... Like okay, I, there we go. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't speak Dwarvish. Okay. Uh, you do have a letter. Um, you have to take it with you if you'd like. Yeah, um, let's take it. Yeah. Um, can we follow the point of the, the reaching of the hand? Yeah. Um, so their hand... And she, you said she saw a half-buried chest. She did see a half-buried chest. Um, so we're going to dig that up. Okay. You dig it up, you do find a chest that has um, some rubies and emerald um, and some sapphires in it. Um, you popped it open, and it has, I think, two other diamonds. Four rubies, one start, emerald, like, three taking. diamonds. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank you. Uh, I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm, gonna sm- I'm gonna smack your hand. Hey, I brought you here with Sharon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How many, how many, how many was, was each? So if you, well. Uh, four rubies, one emerald, three diamonds. Well, one two, di- diamonds two diamonds. Six. Well, no, there's four. I took one. Oh, okay, yeah. So three diamonds. So three diamonds so left. Lot. So, okay. Here's how we're going to do this. Two rubies each. You can have the emerald. But that means that I get three diamonds. Emeralds are the rarest stones. Are they? I don't know. They are. Like, naturally, emeralds are rarer than diamonds. Because diamonds diamonds can be made. Mm -hmm. But emeralds... Like, diamonds can be humanly made. I take the emerald. So two rubies and an emerald? Two rubies and an emerald. I get two rubies and three diamonds. Okay. Oh, you said there are sapphires. I meant... I'm sorry. That that area right there, so... No sapphires. No sapphires. So, yes. Two rubies and emerald. Two rubies, three diamonds. I told y'all, Opal's entering her, I don't give a fuck era. 
I've always been in my I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you um, can't read the note, so we we don't know. Yeah, I can't, I can't read the I can't read the letter. And you do notice that there's another note in there as well. Oh, I'll take that. Take both of them. Yeah. Take that shit. So just make sure you bad in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck. After that leather face thing, oh, bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Obel takes the letter, starts rolling a joint. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, uh, did you want to return to the group? Yes. Right. Yeah, if there's nothing else. In that case, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> As the party forages ahead, accompanied by a newfound ally, they embark on the path leading to the ominous Judagar Mountains, haunted by visions of Dimitri. What chilling ordeals lie in wait for our companions in the upcoming episode of Pass the Dice? Tune in and find out. Good job, everyone.